we have to watch the intricate intro scene and enjoy the music. That is a pretty as hell picture. That is so fucking pretty. Standing silently in space, the world in the shadow of the blue star was once a lonely barren place on favor of a nation. However, Althina took pity on that world and transformed it into a place of beauty and wonder. She called the new world Lunar. Time and circumstances soon forced Althina to populate Lunar with people from the Blue Star, and just as on the Blue Star, life was held in a delicate balance. Through times of peace, war, chaos, and battle, the Blue Star loomed large as the only constant in the new world. Thousands of years passed, bearing the origin and purpose of the Blue Star in the sands of time. We're getting chills reading this, this is so good. Eventually, the inhabitants of Lunar forgot why the Blue Star was there, or how it came to be. You're squeaking so fucking much right now. Until a girl awakened that could join the two worlds. Or tear them apart forever. <laughs> the, this image is so fucking pretty. What? No, 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 no. Okay, cool. This works. This works. Oh, we should... Blue Spire. <laughs> this is really pretty. Hail hey, Bunny, how are you? Hope that your day is going amazingly. <laughs> so, for anybody who doesn't know, this is the game with the character that we named ourselves after. Her. <laughs> we, um. We named ourselves Lucia after her, and, um, we named ourselves after the, um,. After the PS1, we only played the PS1 version, the remake. Now, we we had wanted to play the original on our to-do list for a while, and, um, somebody in the Edgecase Collective Discord, um, somebody in the Edgecase Collective Discord posted a, um, a, a patch, which makes this, um, equal to the Japanese version, and we're like, okay, that's a great, that's a great way to do, that's a great way to, that's a, this is a good reason to start this. Okay, wow, we've been terrible at words all day. We got to 2v1 the best Protoss in the world today. It was fucking amazing. 2v1 the best Protoss in the world. Oh, there's no speedruns for the original. There she is. There she is. <laughs> it's not time yet. What's gonna be weird with the different voice actor? Cause we have an introject of her as well as our, ourselves, um, our legal name and stuff. Back, when, back before we knew we were plural, we just knew her slowly see it after her. Wow, we didn't realize that Working Designs did the um, original translation. Does anybody know what the, gen what the Sega CD um, 
which is an attachment for the Genesis, has audio capacity. Doesn't feel like the Genesis can quite do CD quality. Like, it feels like it's falling apart a bit. Yes, Lunar! <laughs> We've played the remake so many, many times, but we've never actually gotten around to playing the original. It's been on our to-do list for like a decade. Not quite a decade, but... No, it's been on our to-do list for a fucking decade. And we just have to. We just have to take advantage of this. last night and finally found it. We got like a nice selfie of ourselves like this. We um like we were turning up turning over the apartment to look find it. Like, we were legitimately scared that we'd lost it. Because this is something super meaningful to us. We bought one of these um I think we bought one of these a few years after we started HRT but this is still super fucking special to us. <laughs> and like the original the remake is such a good game. Um like, we really, really appreciate the combat system. It's really good. It doesn't scale well to the end of the game, but it's it's a really interesting combat system. And definitely very fun to learn for the early game, for the first half of the game. Is this going to it's not time yet? This is not the time for my awakening. Oh wow, her voice. My voice is the same here. This is awesome. Something's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> the other awesome thing about replaying this is some. Um, Zofar.net was where you always used to get our emulators when we were a kid. And, oh no, then, Lunar. and then replaying this, like we finally got to figure out, oh, that's where the name comes from. Forgetting that this Sega CD actually has CD quality stuff. It's like this. Wow. The, re the more we look into this, the more faithful the recreation looks. These are some fucking beautiful FMVs. Did you say something, Ruby? What year is this game from? Ninety-eight. Holy shit! This is. What trap? Oh. This is 95, and this is the sequel to the original one. Why didn't you tell me about that earlier? I did, but you were too wrapped up in getting the jewel to listen. Oh yeah, the jewel. Wow. Hold on, I've almost got it. The voice actors are actually consistent between the two versions. That's amazing. Oh, there, I got it. Watch that rumbling. Oh no, the exit's closing. <laughs> Thank you. 
We tried playing the Silver Star, Silver Star Story Complete, and it just didn't really do much for us. I'm okay, Ruby. It's it's just a few bruises. Okay, that's it. No more exploring for us. I've had it. We always end up getting in some sort of trouble. Ruby, listen. What? Ah! Come on, Ruby. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, looks like you've caught us in another messy situation. Oh, by the way, wow, the remake is such a faithful out, recreation so far. Is Hero, and the flying cat is named Ruby. She says she's actually a baby red dragon, but I don't know if I quite believe her. She doesn't care, though. We've been friends for what seems like forever. My grandfather Gwen is an archaeologist who taught us how to explore ancient ruins like this. Well, not exactly like this. <laughs> Grandpa'd have a coronary if he saw me in this kind of danger, but you get the idea. I think it's so cool that these dungeons and ruins that time forgot can be found and explored by someone like me. This world is full of wonderful legends. The Blue Star, from which our ancestors supposedly came. Tales of dragons and heroic dragon masters. A magic city that flew in the sky. And the goddess of love and beauty, Althena. All those legends and places have to be true. I believe Hello, Nakani Seto. This is a is super meaningful like to us. We have Lucia's pendant right here. Is the result of this is just... Long ago. We, we, we played the, rem we played the PS1 remake like these to prove like, that. And probably half a dozen times by now. And this is the first time playing the original. We've been wanting to play the original for um, like a decade and we just we're finally getting around to it. Somebody posted like a patch which makes the English version closer to the Japanese version. Let's do a kind of combat system again. What's that noise? <gasps> wow, hero! Dragon ship destiny. That? Wow, they kept the music. Everything is so true. The more of this that we're seeing, the more we appreciate like how faithful. Yes, you over there. How faithful you doing the remake is. I wasn't talking to your cat! I was talking to you, boy! Hello! Time for your eye exam! I am not a cat! Knock it off, Ruby! You're gonna get us in trouble! <laughs> My name is Hero, and this is Ruby! Identify yourself! Certainly. I am White Knight Leo, leader of Althena's Guard, and this is the Dragon Ship Destiny. Now then, listen up. This would have came out when we were five years old. To evacuate this area. A confrontation is about to take place. I don't want to see any civilians accidentally caught in the middle of this thing. Return to your home immediately. Move it! So, hello, Simon. Hello, Slay the Play. We'd like to keep on Super Metroid just so that we can, um... Just so usual viewers know where we are. Um, Helmsman, Shinen, have course. you actually played the um, Sega CD version? The Blue Spire. Yeah, same, same, same. We've played the PS1 version half a dozen times, but we've never played the Sega CD version. That guy seemed a little full of himself, if you ask me. But he did say he was the leader of Althena's guard. I wonder if that's the same Althena you told me about. So, um... Well, no telling now. He's gone. So, there, there, so there's... There, there was just a patch to um, make the Sega CD version like more like the Japanese version, and that's what we're playing on. Ooh, Overworld with battles. Oh wow. 
this legit has a battle system. We didn't realize that the original had the same battle system. Ah, uh, fuck. Please don't kill us. Wow, we didn't realize the original had this battle system. This is legit. How is everybody? How is everybody having the cutest fuck day? Awesome. We had no idea the second CD version had all of this. It'll be really interesting to see the dialogue. Wait, is that not the way out? And then where the fuck is the way out? I hope this isn't the case where we just walk in circles until we run out of herbs and then die. Yep, yep, we're leaving in Super Metroid. Like, if, if we're playing a game where nobody ever- nobody would ever watch the game, we just leave it on Super Metroid. Maybe this is a level up? Why? so that people know where to find us. Uh, did we fuck something up? Oh no, did we just fuck something up? Please tell us that we didn't just fuck something up. Do we have to re do, we have to do this all over? We hit L on the D-pad. Do you wonder if that accidentally kills something? Because it looked like it just froze. Maybe it didn't freeze and we just fucked and we just fucked ourselves over. Okay, please tell us we can at least skip these cutscenes. Okay, how do we fast forward through these? Backspace. I wonder if it actually was frozen or if we didn't fuck anything up. Okay, fast forward actually is getting us quite a bit of speed.
Do we save? This time, how do we fucking save? Zendra! Thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing? Hope that you're having a cute mouse day. Or you feel like cute as all shit. Save the game. Rawr, hi. Hope that you're feeling cute as shit. Hope that everybody coming from. Ah, uh, oops. Hope that everybody coming from Xander's stream is. Feeling cute as shit. How's Lufia? We're just, we've just started this game, but um, this is fucking awesome. Like, No, there's- ah, uh, oops. We named- we named ourselves after- like, we named ourselves after a character from this game when we transitioned. And we've been super wanting to play through this version of it for like years and years and years, and we're finally getting to it, it's so exciting! <laughs> we are super, super hyped. to go. So far we've been super impressed with like, we did not realize how close the um... We hadn't realized how close the um, remake is to the original. Like, the deeper we get into this, like, we're realizing that it's, like, a really, really faithful re recreation. Like, the battle system is recreated faithfully. Is this not the overworld? Like, we think you can save in the overworld, can't you? Okay, going left last time didn't work. Uh, like legit, where are we supposed to go? We should be getting level 2 soon. Hello, Tilly Heart! How is everybody in Xander's team doing? How is everybody all doing? How is everybody's having a cute as shit day and just like doing amazingly? actually called sand sharks. They're legit called sand sharks. Chan sand shark go chomp. You have to select ruby on the character menu? Here's the exit. Here's the exit. It'd be kind of cool to like get to play this like with a legit Genesis controller, which we have one of. <laughs> if 
go with our awesome Pringles cart. Signed by the Pringles community at GDQ. The last in-person GDQ. One of the relics that we will carry with us forever. We totally bought a Genesis just for Pringles. Like, I've barely played it since. Oh, what the hell? This map is different. Oh, cool. What the heck? That's a giant ass sickle. Wait. Oh, that. That's a fucking moon. It's not a giant ass like sickle. It's just a fucking moon. Yeah, Pringles a game. It's a it's a homebrew. Um, like if if you look on the speed run, there's like over hundred over hundred people who have times in it. Loose Pyre has been a mystery for for decades, even hundreds of years. You can't possibly expect that I know all its secrets. Besides, what interest can you possibly have in this fire? Blue stars, secret riddles, pa! What an easy life you lead, archaeologist. My work is much more serious than that. A destroyer is coming to this world, and the blue spire is a point at which it will originate. Goddess Althena has given me direct orders to eradicate the destroyer. The Goddess Althena? A devil at the Tower of the Blue? Bah, nonsense. Regardless of, of whether you believe me or not, I need your help. We attempted to enter the tower, but you sealed with some kind of magic. We must find a way in, into the blue fire. This is you're the expert on it. You and you alone can provide the answers I seek. is one of four heroes. Does anything... It's not a space, it's just a giant fucking moon. <laughs> That's a million silver quest how to enter the spire. I'm not exactly sure. I think you're the follow Akash. Akash. Koshi, very much appreciated. Hope that your days keep going cute as fuckly. <laughs> when all else fails, shoot the fucking cannon and blow up the entire structure. Hey, Hero, do you want to work in Alpina's guard? Leo is one of the four heroes, Althena's guard. It's not supposed to be this destroyer thing. Something's up. I don't like the smell of it. Not one bit. We think we get to stabby stab things with him now. Is he coming back? Or do you go chase him? Tower room, Star Dragon Tower, Goddess Tower, and a blue spider. Okay, is there any shit to loot down? <laughs> they broke they, they did it. Grandpa will be mad if we snoop around in his treasure box. <laughs> they fucking did it. Look at that here, see this strange light from the blue spire? Looks like it's coming into the heavens toward the blue star. Never seen anything like this. Grandpa's coming with us after we get grab the weapons in the basement. 
god, this we, this game is so good, and like this is the first time playing the original, and we're really really appreciating it. We tried to play the original the first game. We played the remake of the first game, but it just didn't do anything. The characters didn't speak to us. We're thinking about grinding Super Metroid. We think about grinding Super Metroid, but then we did, we're so glad. As soon as we started, the, as soon as we booted up the game, we knew that we'd made the right decision. Ancient knife. Four dragons of Volcano. White, red, black, and blue. Or, well, the power of Volcano and the dragons will protect the world from evil. They send only two dragons in the world. Vane, the flying city, the city of Vane, once floated above the clouds. But magic Emperor Kalyan used to evil blast blast him in the heavens. That happened in the, in the first Lunar game. Lunar, a brief history. Once Lunar was a barren world, unable to support life. The blue star was a place of death and decay, so Althena turned to Lunar. She blessed it with the power of her, and it became a place of beauty and wonder. Pleased with her work, she brought people to this land from Blue Star. We're loving this lore. For a few hundred years, the goddess of beauty and love, Althena, returns to us. At that time, she leads the people into a place of peace and absolute harmony. She took on the name Luna in, um... Luna in, um, the first game, and, um... We named one of her, us after the get little fairy. Dragon Master is Althena's strongest protection. Since Althena's last rebirth, the world has been without a Dragon Master. The last Dragon Master is called Alex, hero of the last game. Blue Spire. The Blue Spire was in northern part. It's a mystery. Sealed tight with magic. No one has seen the interior for hundreds of years. Rumored that the Spire links Luna to the Blue Star. Lost Frontiers. One people live in the Blue Star. At you're pretty sure they did. Shifting dragon comes to be. Dragon can change its form as well and powers beyond belief. Discovery of secrets and ruins empty. We have the other. We have both eyes now. First from the cutscene, second from now. Let's get. And now we're headed off to the fucking spire. So one of the changes, um, one of the changes in, the, in um, the U.S. version is that you actually have to spend magic points to save, and like fuck that. Figures out how the hell to equip anything, please let us know. An ancient life and better steal it. It truly is video game logic. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's how we do that. Um, left and right, left and right to select characters. Produce essentially more. Oh, I can't take with a fucking herb. Okay, so that's how we save. Okay, now we understand what it meant by equipping Ruby's by selecting Ruby's character. Actually got an attack off. Level 2 hero is a fucking beast. We're, we're definitely we definitely want to save this playthrough on, on YouTube. Like, if we don't save this, somebody should yell at us to remember to save it. Oh wow, Hero can actually stab both of them to death. So does anybody know what the audio cap capabilities of the Genesis is? Like, this doesn't sound like a, the Genesis is quite capable of CD quality. We really like how the ledges work. Like, look at this, we're just holding up and it's just pulling off of the ledges. Oh, wait, was that not the right way to the. Oh, the blue spider must be the other direction. Okay, then, if you say so, game. Oh, we are loving this game. We are so happy that we decided to do this rather than Super Metroid. This is exactly what we needed tonight. This is exactly what we needed. Roar. Off to bed. Hope you have amazing, amazing sleeps. May you have cute dreams of ice and cheese. Never lies. All of you are cute as all shit. Okay, good. It does auto target a new one. That was not guaranteed, like, that it would respond reasonably. the bridge into the north? Oh, across the bridge. There's a hecking bridge. That left one is gonna blow magic at us and fuck us up. Not if we kill it first. This game is so good. This is so, so, so good. If you can't remember the last time we were, like, we were actually that this excited on stream. But this like totally deserves it. Um, that one looks like it's about to magic us, so we'll go fuck up that one first. How 
to steal the silver and twerk in this game. Okay, set of image. Oh shit. Okay, good. We're gonna fuck up both of those. Both of the danger ones. And Grandpa should know heal. Weird as shit menu, but um, I guess it makes sense once you get used to it. Yeah, that menu, it's a really, really cool menuing thing. We guess like going from CD to CD quality to CD quality, um. This is like a legit branching world. Oh. Yeah, this is a legit battle system for 95. We had no we had no idea that, like like sometimes you go back to older games and like you realize that um instead of having an interesting battle system they the original version just kind of had, like, a turn-based system. Like, we were expecting, like, we were actually expecting it to just be, like, a Dragon Warrior Final Fantasy style system. But no, they actually did something interesting with it. Is this kind of game called for Fantasia? Was it Fantasia? Seriously? This is dead fucking end. Tales of Fantasia was 96, right? I think Fantasia was 96. Okay, Fantasia was 90, December 95. So yeah, the first one they definitely would run first. Oh wow, we're fucking up everything really easily now that we have them. That extra level made a huge difference. As a kid, we used to never think that much of extra levels. But, like, extra levels really do matter. There's a lot of battles. So the remake, the remake uses, um, a system much closer to Tales of Symphonia. For the ba for, um, battles, when it chooses to battle? Oh no. Bad. Okay, please hit the... Never lucky. At least everything only did one damage. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna heal everyone after this. Ooh, first crit. Lots of shiny stars. That's surprising, we weren't expecting him to be able to reach. And the combat system like gives you a maximum range that you can walk. Ooh. That was 
was cool. That was actually really cool. An actual animation there. We really underestimated just how good this version was going to be. We really underestimated what, could, what they could do with so good CD. So this game does have a save anywhere system, which is nice. Da, 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 da. Nope. This is just the dungeon music. Ooh. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, one is gone. Oh, right. We remember why now. Dragon Jewel. Hee <laughs> we put one of the two eyes in. That'll open it, right? well made. Okay, so it's just standard combat things. We remember right if we kill the bot if we kill the boss one they all die. Yep. It is now. Four. Four. Three. Okay, we definitely appreciate how quickly you can run through that menu. Seven. Three. Eight. That's a dead. Extra level is nice. Extra level is really nice. Every three plus the slime again, we're gonna just run, we're gonna just magic our way out of that. Are those three eyeballs that are just like there? Oh no! Oh no, we thought that we were gonna kill that one one hit. It's gonna a lot of damage, isn't it? No, okay. Never mind, that was just the neutral stance, and I thought I'm gonna fuck you up with magic stance.
Yeah, that was kind of a stupid fucking thing. We did not need to do that, um. Yeah, that didn't actually help us over just attacking normally. So there's no knockback when you get booped. In the, re in the remake, it knocks you back a bit to make the tactics marginally more interesting. Ow. Oh, cool, that was a knockback. Okay. The lesson learned there is that we should probably actually use our magic against these. Every level helps a shit ton. So the remake is normally about a 20 hour game. We don't know how long a game this will be. I wish that there was something more interesting that we can do battle-wise, but there's not. We considered, we considered learning the speedrun of the remake. High Spirits is a nice guide, like, it would be fucking awesome to snipe the world record in the game that we named it, or the character that we named ourselves after. That's on the long list of things that we'd do if we got, like, got six months off of our job. At least in the remake, we'll get a heal at some point. Fire, but we're not seeing very much blue. But we hope that we see more blue once we get higher up. Like the blue spire absolutely deserves more blue. Ow. 
we appreciate how quickly you can just mash the menu. Like, if we remember right in the remake, the menu is significantly slower. Okay, we imagine that this open shit. We hope that there's more blue in the blue spire later on. The blue spire needs more blue. Ruby to the rescue! Ruby to the fucking rescue. Five of these, that would be very thematic. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Oh, okay, we see. It's just lining all four of these up into the center. There's no battle voice acting. We're going to have dodged this in our head for that. Okay, so there's probably one more. Or maybe there's just a chest up here. We think I'm in the remake they did away with this and made a teleporter room. <laughs> well, how the fuck did he get here? There's the blue spire we see. We weren't actually in the blue spire part, we were just in the entrance. Ready. Ah, there's the field. Holy shit, we're fucking loving the stat Alfina statues in this game. Like the beautiful crescent moon. <laughs> How did I fit through the door? Now that you mention that, we're going to be asking that a question a lot when we play RPGs in the future. Oh, this is a battle area. Looks like Super Metroid to us. Definitely looks like Super Metroid to us. This is yeah, the other part just went straight up watching the blue spire. Honestly. 
you! Oh wow, you can one-shot those now. So we will get in. We will, we will be getting out there to save the, or the heal before he has to face the guardian. It's a statue which was after the guardian room on the way in. He has a big floor on the way out. Access more from there? Does it seriously tell me so we just can't go further? Okay. As you wish, game. Thank you for the follow, trash girl. Very much appreciated. How are you doing? Hope that your gaze go and cute as fuck, Lee. Twitch fucking keep removing our LGBT tag. Like, do we have to- How to like get the LGBT tag to be permanently on our stream? That would be awesome because it like looks like it just fucking deletes it every time, and we do not understand why. Oh, okay. It looks like tw this is some bullshit that Twitch Twitch means makes you do it every time, which makes. So that just makes tags fucking useless. Who the fuck is gonna take the time to set tags every time they stream? how accurate the remake is.
We just died. Checkpoint? Ow, this is the fucking best SM hack. This is the game with character that we named ourselves after. Four when we died. Oops. Wow, what garbage choices. No, no. Lucia. Um when we did our legal name before we um before we before we realized that we were plural. At the time like our legal name was our name, but You fucking set AI for that. Please do your staff bash. And we have an introduct of her, which is fucking awesome. Did we lose any EXP when we hit checkpoint? Oh, why did we attack that thing first? We should have attacked the... Um, million eye fish. Badass ruby. We were surprised at our death, and we didn't realize we could just get critted out that easily. Okay, so it looks like checkpoint actually didn't save our EXP. It took us, it like, it was just, it was basically an auto save. What trash? Cool, they're sticking in diagonals. This. The remake had voice acting for spell. <laughs> All this jokes based on our la surname. So we, we actually start, thought about speedrunning the remake. Um, like it would be it would be really cool to do. We don't know if we we, we it's not something we can do while working because it's like an it, the first run would take us like ten hours. It would still be fucking awesome to snipe that world record. We won the best protest in the world, and it was fucking amazing. 
It was absolutely amazing. We won the first game, we actually got reasonably close to winning the next two. Pretty, pretty blue star. It has such an awesome design. This slime just fucking dodged that. This slime like just slithered backwards. Slime slither. Like what's the, what's the right adjective or verb for um, slimes moving? Like this slime slither? The slimes like. Oh, what's the verb for slimes moving? <laughs> Seventh floor on the top. Ancient writings speak of a secret way to the top floor somewhere in here. We must search this room thoroughly. Ooze. We think we're liking slow there. We must search the room thoroughly. Or how about we just go straight to the obvious spot? The nice pentacle. I don't think we're in Candace anymore. <laughs> this must be the secret room. I hope the the, the Troy Lear that Lear's looking more isn't looking around here. This is pretty. This is pretty. Look at that! It's just floating there. Do you think? Oh! Are biased towards a certain user in the in the Discord? Hell yes. Um, like, our relationship with Agape, like, six years ago, was one was probably the most transformative relationship of our life. And they are fucking awesome. And we adore them. There she is, Lysia. You've been like feeling cute as shit. Or something. What are we gonna do, hero? Ruby the hero. Hello. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. But I cannot lie. We wonder, like, what they did. Is hero! I actually wonder if, like, they took the original hey, voice wait a minute. acting recordings going? and, um, to just this took world to seek threw them into the remake. My search begins. You know, you mean the goddess? I don't know if I can help you, but I'm willing to try. Who are you? I'm Hero and this is Ruby. In the flesh. Here is it's the world you must help me to find the goddess Althena. It's urgent that I find her. The fate of the real world hangs in the balance. Don't scare me like that. 
I need to find myself to worry. I'm looking all over here. Where are Carnation to go? Oh dear, who's this you found? Her name's Lucia. I found her in a room with a big crystal drawer. Guess what, Grandpa? She's from the Blue Star. Alvina herself. A girl has traveled to us from the Blue Star? Hero, we've got to get out of here. If Leo finds here, we're in big trouble. And so is she. We'll talk later. Let's go. Leo, the White Knight. If we remember right, Lucia just fucks them all up. being in the other game. That's pretty as all hell. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Yo, Leo. Are you Mystere? There's a segment where I'm... There's a segment where Leo dresses up. Where Leo's in conflict um, about like his position as a white knight and like takes on the persona Mystere with a mask, and and everybody else is like, "Hi, Leo. I am not Leo. I am Mystere." And then um, Ruby's like, "He's doing this. Just play along with it." This game is glorious. I legit had no idea that um they re that the remake is so close to <laughs> Is it one of the masks that just covers the eyes? No, we don't think that Leo has COVID. trying to figure out like what the best option are for masks like it's a pretty as hell animation we'd like to find one that fits properly Yes, we have. Spark cannon, that must be Samus's cameo. Oh, we actually did go through the door. She just seems to be hesitating. I don't think she's human. Her magic is too strong. Perhaps she is a destroyer, as Lord Leo said, but why would she come here? Fiddle, my boy. Makes no sense. No sense at all. Uh, look! What's happening to Lucia? Haha, ha. I am so far.
But then, perhaps the evil hides it from my sight. With the special version of the remake, they gave that these pendants and they're very high quality. Like it's legit metal. She's definitely not human. At least not like any other I've known. I can't believe she's a destroyer. Did she come did she survive? Meet the goddess Althea? Athena, I sent her power, but I kinda dropped her present she must find out where she is. So fucking good still. No dream. If we don't break the spell, she'll die. I miss, I must. Only Althea can so far. Right Get her back to the house. Cuteness, fuck yes. Bit of a speculative stuff might happen. The guardian's awake.
So I don't think it's former lands. Hopefully this works out. If not, we'll, 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 not, we'll figure something out for the next time. We still want to run so we can use this for. Oh. That was easy. Is that some dead? That's a dead. Hero didn't level up. Heck. We're gonna quickly grab more water, run to the bathroom, and we're gonna be back with more of this amazing game. So this is a yogurt that we got at Trader Joe's. Um, it has, uh, we've never had this one before, but we saw that Trader Joe's has some whole milk yogurt. And of course, like, whole milk better gets better taste. And this one has honey in it. We've never tried yogurt with honey. So we're gonna be very interested to see how it tastes.
I think it was advertised tart and sweet, and it kind of is. This isn't very sweet at all. I'm not sure we'd get it again. We're glad we tried. Hello, Darkest Firestone. How are you doing? I hope that you're just going amazingly. Yogurt. Producer's yogurt. Greek yogurt with whole milk and honey. We never tried this particular yogurt flavor, and um, much less sweet than the vanilla ones. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> the, answer to, the answer to that question is always... We'll send you some over IP via, via Avian Carrier. It's always the answer deck. Can I have some? Oh wow, they made the exit this really easy. I mean, oh, we were about to say we didn't get any counters, but... I should love how fast you just mash through things. In the remake, you cannot. I hope that they didn't over animate things like in the remake. Like, the game really slows down towards the end just because they made some pretty absurd animations. Some of the grains come to life. Pew! QP lasers to the rescue. We think we're supposed to lose this, but um, we're gonna try anyway. We're just gonna die, we're just gonna die intentionally. We're just like 90% 90% sure that we're supposed to lose this. It's one of those speedrun of the remake because it's a PS1 remake. One of the most amazing speedrun texts is literal body blocking. And because of the movement thing, you have to get um the you have to be right next to somebody to attack them. And, um, for one of the bosses, for one of the bosses, the tech is to, um, just kind of get, get one, hide one character in the corner and surround it with the other characters, but the other characters die, and then enemies can never get to actually physically get to them. There we go. Pew pew Leo. Just 
Guardian Hoth, those Guardian didn't know much of the power of the Dragon Ship Destiny. Shalthina providing the power of the ship is ended. But I have better things to do than brag about my ship. Althina has sent me to capture a destroyer that has come to our world, and I don't intend to let her down. I don't see how we're very short from here. No, it's not right. It must be some sort of mistake. You have no authority to doubt me, young man. This destroyer I'm looking for is in that tower. I bet my life on it. It's my job to smoke it out and deliver it to all day. And if it resists, Athena has given me authority to eradicate it. You're out of your leave here. Just go home. I can't believe how rude he is. He works for Althea. Say here, who's a lady? Hmm, you're wearing a strange dress of red cloth. I've never seen this equal. You need to be sick. What is made in meat world? There was a monster in the depth of the tower. It attacked her. You barely escaped. If you hurry, you may catch it. <laughs> Fucking Ruby. Ha, huh, exactly just the destroyer in the tower. Come on, man, let's go. Hehehe, <laughs> fell for it. Fucking Ruby. We're going that we're playing um, on a version with infinite saves. This is the sequel. This is the sequel. Um, we played Silver Star Story Complete once, but we never played the original. And um, we, we never, like... So we absolutely fell in love with this game, but we never fell in love with Silver The Silver Star Story just didn't really do much. It felt like just kind of like grinding through the game. Rather than really feeling like we were enjoying it. to play this version of this game for a decade and we're finally getting to do it we're so fucking hype like it's been our to-do list forever it's been our list of games to play for like forever we never thought that we'd actually get around to it but now we're doing it it is fucking awesome So healing, healing in this game um, is praying at the go statue of the goddess. And I fucking love the moon that she has in this version. She's just holding the fucking moon in her crescent moon. It's beautiful. She needs rest.
stay with her. I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can break the curse. Do you think she's a strong? This is so fucking awesome. So, so far, you, you can't. And then, Hero, so she's good. having some kind of nightmare. No. Poor thing. Lucia? Listen carefully. I must find Althena as soon as possible. So far. Ah. Oh. Essence of evil. If he regains power, your world will be destroyed. His strength grows by the second. I came to stop him. Ah. Then Leo is wrong. She came to save our world. I legitimately wonder if they um just reused the um. Reuse the same sound. The voice acting. The world has ceased to exist so far as not stopped. Like the humans, I must stop him. Why did you say that? Did you say you're not human? I am, uh, beyond anything he can cure. Just for special training. Ron Far. Ron Far. Good kid, maybe he can help us. And let's take the sea at him. The rock is on the other side of the sea. Let's take my boat. Meet me outside. Did he just jump the fuck down? I was helping you because he's a nice guy, but he's all mine. <laughs> I don't want you moving in on my territory. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. You shouldn't get too close to here because you're setting up for a fall. Oh, does he a trip? People like get too close. I remember to walk ten paces behind him. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about. He's so dense, he can't possibly threat to my love for hero. Let's just go. Oh, Ruby. Start a timer. Okay, we don't get to control it. You don't remember this music from the sequel remake. that again. We're just gonna fast forward it. Sometimes like that makes us really grateful that we're playing on an emulator.
My angel tears are not, not nearly as valuable. If there's an enemy that can Ruby can KO. At least that's the behavior that we've seen so far. This is the town of the Ronfar. The priest. Okay, that is a fucking awesome intro. That is a legitimately awesome intro. Holy shit, this, that's impressive. Great town is crawling with criminals. Adult into the West is much safer. Ah! Buy stuff, sell stuff. Oh shit, this game even offers buy an equipment. Honestly, we were expecting a Super Nintendo style game. But like, this is, this is Sega CD, so like we're getting legit CD. <laughs> Ron Far cheated him out of his house. Yes, I'm looking for Ron Far. We won't find him in the hidden sanctuary, that's for sure. He traded a clock with the dice. Check out the alleys and bars, but problems are probably in another game. Good luck then. I want to gamble against Ronfire again. Shut up. He's to be a priest. He knows some holy tricks. Get off me. We super appreciate things to walk through people. It's a really practical decision. This looking man here is Ronfire. The dice are in his hand. It's almost like magic. Alright, magic. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed I'm yawning. So, th so this does keep the um, original does keep the original translation, we believe. It, it, it... No, I'm not Ron Far too bad. The guy's got all the luck. Not from the tax board, are we? Duh. Do we look like we're from the tax board? It's probably at the bar. You know, gambling. that I'm working a version of this that um, keeps like infinite saving and um it also does stuff like makes the text not all capitals which is awesome
Yeah, he should be at the far right, shouldn't he? Oh, there's Ronfar. He's in this Ronfar guy, huh? Well, beat it. Don't come back, you drug makers. I don't want to see your face ever again. Unless you feel like rolling your bones. What are you doing back here? I'm getting real sick of your face. <laughs> well, we're getting sick of your games, Ronfar. We know who you are. I don't know what sanitarium you escaped from, but I'm not Ronfar. What do you want with this Ronfar guy anyway? All the characters in this game are interesting. You know, he's kind of a deadbeat. I can't believe he was ever a priest for Althena. But I'll tell you where your guy is if you beat me in a game. The game that rules my life. Because the only truth I've ever found lies right here. In these! Silver Star Story was d had just had disappointing character compared to this. Wanna roll shoot the dice? Tell you about the one far. I'll take the odd numbers. Heck, even. New or I can try again. I'll take the even numbers. Rip. Or you can try again. Odds. I know what it'll be. I know he was cheating, hero. Super, super loaded, dicey. Yes, me too. Oh, hero, I can't help. What happened to her? She just passed out. Hey, what? Let's get her out of. Here, she can rest in my place. She'll take Lucia for sure. Oh, she met my overachieving friend. The girls in such a trouble. You don't want Leo to get a hold of her. It's a hero. I'll go see what he wants. Say, friend, long time no see. But I guess you've been busy. What was this work he mentioned in the end? I can't believe you'd have business in this crooked town. Some little brat called Hero tricked me in. Help the destroyer. I had no idea it would become this guy's the girl. That was my mistake. I won't make it again. Girl, huh? You say she's a destroyer? One oh, Ronfar, don't spill the beans. He's not good hero. He talks to world dead meat. Well, Ronfar, here, I think about this the girl in one of your games. Let me know, okay? Right. I haven't heard anything. If I do, you're at the top of my list. Well, I guess that's all I can do today. Tomorrow I'll start the search anew. That brat will be mine. Ronfar, why don't you return to Pentaculia in the service of Althena? You know, Mari never got over you leaving. She still asks about you. And Leo, we've been down that road a zillion times. I've got to tell Mari to forget all about me. I'm a loser. I have been. She's too good for me. Ronfar, you're much too earnest. You did the best you could. And even though you couldn't save her, she still managed to survive. Forget about the past. Come back to Pentaculia, please. For Mari? But she is. I 
other than here, each each character has a really nice growth arc, and um, we're gonna see how much of that is actually in the original text. You know, back in End of Boy, Leo is my best friend in the world. We're like brothers. I lied to him, and just for you, stranger. But I lied on a hunch that you're doing what you think is right. And see in your eyes, you don't believe the girl is stronger at all. I was like you, a young kid fired up with ambition, and then, oh, I'm sorry, I miss you so much. That's full of shock. All that matters now are my dice, and the lucky they are. Okay, hero, here's the deal. Leave the dice and win, and I'll help you and Lucia. But forget about it, his dice have got to be loaded. Keep with me. You're tearing my heart to shreds. Come on, me, a cheat? Come on. Just from round. My heart is in the right place. So much odd or even. Even, huh? You won. Look at that hero, you won? I don't believe it. Lux certainly must be with you. I'm yours on the toss of the dice. Break the spell. I have to use the statue of the goddess. It's one in the sanctuary. The has got the guarded, so we better use the back door. Come on, this way. So we take us right into the sanctuary. You bring Lucia. Humans cannot own the power of Athena. That's over our whole. What else can we do? See the locks over here clearly. You're my only chance. Yep, that is exactly what we believe. You better hurry in. Get there while well, she still has strength to walk. It's getting worse fast. And the, the fact that he let you win is make, makes him a far more interesting character than he could have been. Oh, it was a dungeon thing. We get to move fast through here. are so fucking cute. Chomp up all the tasty blood. everybody soon. Oh wow. Oh, well, Ground Fire does a lot. Ground Fire also only gets one attack. And that doesn't change for a very long time, if ever. That's what 1A stands for. One ally. One ally. Eventually gets a mace and goes pew. Okay, so we get the notation. All enemies slash all allies. There should be a chest out here. Starlight. That's one third of max MP. Oh, we keep going in my cave. This looks like it might be the last cave.
you. You see, it does become helpful after she's healed a bit. Hmm. Okay, this is cool. They've actually added the knock. They've made it so some things knock back, but a lot of things don't. This is actually a really cool combination. The end of the battle jingle does need some work. The end of battle jingle legitimately needs some work. Wow, Runbar has a lot more HP and levels. Maybe we're a bit underleveled for where we should be. Or not. Oh, there's a side door. Althena, hear my plea. Take your holy light and cleanse this girl. Lose the bonds that now bind mind and heart of this tormented soul. Shatter the darkness or raise a holy light. Ah, uh, what's wrong? She's in agony. It's impossible, but spell she's under is stronger than a never failed spell. Except once, when I was sick. Tests at the hands of Ronfar. It's not complete, but the main spell is broken. She'll just have to. Oh, I didn't know anyone was still in here. Yes, well, the sanctuary is closed for the day. Come back tomorrow. No thanks, old man. I don't have any need to come back to this place. Let's see, you can rest at my house with your friends. Let's go. Oh, it costs money to heal there. Okay. I guess that heal is cheap enough that um, I wonder if we have to cut scene for some visit at Ronfar's house. Or things go. Don't to worry that Sia's life is not in danger anymore. The only thing is her power can restore what she lost to the spell. I how hard this priest stuff was. I need to get to some sleep. It's just that you guys do the same. There's a long road ahead. You can take my bed, and the rest of you can sleep where you want. Look, Lucia's bed is empty. Do you think Leo stole her? And then I took her? I have to get her back. Um, hurry, please, no. I'm sorry, it's a big girl. I miss her blood very much. I wonder what happened. Maybe I'll ask him when he wakes up. Well, thanks for her. He's got a heart of gold under that thick skin. We <laughs> passed that on the stone floor. It's RPG logic. Some girl came by here singing herself and staring into the sky. Seems so innocent, and yet no one knew who she was. Gold red robe? The one that looked so very sad? Seems like she just lost her best friend. Freaky chicken in the red robe. So wandering around here, talk. Another 
the stars and traces. Babe's completely out of touch with reality, says some hero guy knows her. to just walk out like that. Oh wait, is there is there a baby that she's talking to? Might be singing to a baby in the front in the park right of the town. <laughs> Looks like a lot like I did 70 years ago. I can hardly believe it myself. Is she doing the sanctuary thing? Wait, is this the mayor's house? I don't remember it's shot her. Or she was, she was looking for the cook's job and let her have it. We broke nearly every day from the house. I fired her, what not? Seems to a baby up here. Goodbye. It sounded just like a goodbye. 
Where do you think you're going, Missy? Pentacolia. Holy city. I'm going that I can get to Althina's city by means of Dalton. So that is where my task will lead me. Pooh, Dalton. Goodbye here, Ruby. Thank Gwyn and Ron Far for me. Lucia. She just jumped off that giant ass wall. the size of a sand cellar. Where did you even find a cat or something like that? The villagers told her she must have been around here soon. She went to Dalton. Why don't you go and do a dumb thing like that? The destiny's entered there. So he's got to be waiting for her to walk into his trap. Oh no, hero. What are we going to do now? She's in danger for sure. I guess I'm part of this little mess now. Tell you what, I'll go with you to Dalton and see if I can't straighten this out. Oops, that's a pub. It's interesting how long the loading times are, even like walking into a house. But I guess that's just, um, CD. It's like a CD for you. Early CD stuff. Buy stuff. We very, very much so. Actually poison? Is that poison actually gone? I guess we'll find out when we get into the next battle. Yeah, there's no auto battle poison damage. Wow, poison is legit just one bat one battle. That's fucking cool. Out of battle poison makes you play the entire game around it. But like with, without out of battle poison, poison just is something that you just completely ignore. Like poison is just like a tiny little DPS increase. Oh, the world map actually has some like dead ends and shit. Hero is still poisoned. Is Hero still poisoned?
tell. Okay. Thank you for the follow, stars into dreams. Welcome to the welcome to the whatever the fuck. I hope that finds your day going. I hope that your day is going cage buckley. Also, that is a fucking awesome name. Stars into dreams, that is a fucking awesome name. We like. Chief, take a look. Isn't that Lucia? Oops. But you must believe me. My story is true. I have no reason to lie. Your favorite but dead if franchises? Yeah, I absolutely love it. Power, I absolutely love this shit. Oh, this isn't even visible on screen. Um, we need to I'll adjust the camera so this is fully to visible. You, not to listen to your evil lies. Like, this needs to be visible. That's better. It's a little bit off of the top of our head, but gives a lot more to the Ah, and you- okay. So what we really just hate is um how like games how much games like you like plan your entire strategy around poison. Take the destroyer blood. No no listen, I won't allow it. You know, I heard. And in preface, you've never claimed that to be destroyed. It's an interesting understood word. Or if it's not there, it's easy. So it lets you show you look for at last destroyer. I'll not let you escape. I'll bend the power of my sword. Phew. Guards take the pathetic thing to the grave. I know what Lucia is. She was trained in the ways of the Nook's guard. If we don't get her back right now, there's no telling what will happen. It won't be good for her ass. The game plan is seen under the destiny, right? Genesis emulator in our NT Mini now. Um, this is our first Sega CD game that we've played. We'll put that on our radar. Um, fuck all knows when we'll actually get around to anything though. 
where the fuck is the destiny? Okay, so we can have the chest this time. Chest? Can there be an extra to the chest here? Where the fuck is the exit to the chest? The bot never lies. Everyone here is cute as all shit. That's a noxiously placed chest. Oh wow, do we actually do like an exit and dive to the building and get to the chest? Or is it up one more level? This is this dungeon. This dungeon is this town is a fucking maze. What? Where the fuck is it? If anybody sees a way to that chest, please tell us. Samus, please. Angel ring. Um. One time auto eh. One time, we're gonna do the standard thing for the one time use items, which is um, we want to save it for later in the game, so we're never gonna use it at all. Silver Star, um, we absolutely fell in love with the characters in the inter Eternal Blue Complete, and um, the characters in Silver Star just didn't do much for us. We played through the game, but it just kind of felt like grinding it out more than um, felt more like a slow grind rather than um, the game just never kind of picked up, which what we felt. It's possible that we'd enjoy it more in a replay. But, um, that's definitely possible that we enjoy it more in a replay, but, um, we don't think we're ever going to replay it because we just didn't like it that much. <clears throat> but it's also possible that we, that we were just, like, in a state where we weren't going to love the characters no matter what, even if they were good. We also think a huge part of it is just that Silver Eternal Blade Complete had such um a, such high standards that um that we just weren't going to um that it just wasn't gonna stand up to it.
It's a good amount of HP. Okay, so we, we think you can actually level magic in this. Wait, what were the crystals made out of? We don't remember that scene. Can you remind us? Talking about like the dragon crystal things. The crystal is in like Galleon's tank thing. It's made out of his shed. <laughs> we do not remember that at all. So this version, this is um, the US version only with um, a recently released patch that um, restores some of the Japanese version of things. It's like, like infinite saving. Uh, no, we, that was a bad idea to use this called heal on run mark. We should be using it on hero always. No voice acting for battle spells is a bit disappointing. Um, like, does a Fantasia manage to do voice acting for battle spells um, on a fucking Super Nintendo on a 6 megabyte cart? And this had 300 megs to work with, and um, they didn't manage to do it. They could have done so much more there. Gives you more um more spells. We had no idea that, that that's how that worked. That is that is fucking awesome. We get to choose where we want to dive for spells. Okay.
we are really, really enjoying this. with an English fashion that we don't have any modern systems at all. Like you should the original was on in Genesis? Like our NT Mini gives us the option though. Ness and T Mini gives us the option to play on Genesis, which is super sick. to attack first solid. I got simplifying things a lot. Oh wait, you receive magic XP per map per battle? It's really cool. I didn't realize that, that was magic XP is unrelated to um Does leveling magic give you more damage or just more spells? Yeah. Um, for a while, when we th before we realized that it would actually play um, more than just that there are other cores for it, um, we were we were questioning whether we actually wanted it. Then we learned that it could play other cores like Game Boy and Genesis. And we're like, okay. And then we were like, this is an this is an amazing decision. We need this. We distinctly remember, like, ordering it. We were at the GDQ studio, um, running frame, running fr Frost Fatales. When the offer came out. Like, we're super happy that we got that. We haven't done much with it, but we're super happy that we have it to play with. Yeah, they really do. Like, we were looking for at a mister instead for a while. We're glad that we just went, um, for fuck's sake. What's your real plan? You wouldn't understand, you're only human. Excuses, excuses, you're a miserable liar. I have no choice but to carry out my order. Engage the force field. Let no one open up that my person personally present. Your crime is treason. Your sentence of execution. You will be hanged tomorrow at noon. There's a shoot that these shoes destroy, destroy that, that was foretold to ruin our land. She looks so normal. I can't believe she has that kind of power. You never let the curve of, of a hip or a terminal woman eyes sway you. Many men have made the mistake to their internal damnation. I just hope Athena's right about this one. Like, our, we've been so happy with our two, no, 
sprint here. You'll be, you'll be killed. Does Leo want to kill me? I just don't understand. He says he's working with Athena. I don't understand this mission either, but he's an Athena's guard. What are you doing here? We don't have time for games. I don't make it to Athena before and so far comes, we're all in danger. But a current form I cannot protect either myself. This form beating the goddess would be very. Oh, Hero, what should I do? Let's go to Pentagolia. I think the answer to a problem lies there. I'll help you until we get to the goddess. Start of a great adventure. It, it is dangerous, and you cannot fully understand. Are you sure you want to help her? I mean, Lord Leo wants to kill her, and now she wants to kill us too. Besides, I think she's crowding our little party. Sorry if I've offended you, Ruby. I meant you no harm. Perhaps it would be better if I left. Hey, okay, pipe down, you guys. Someone's coming. Gotta say it. What? Why has the door been opened? Damn, she's escaped. That little fox somehow outsmarted me. I bet her little friends have something to do with this. Cards, come quickly. The destroyer has escaped. Boop. <laughs> What are you doing, Ron Fire? Why are we these criminals? Ah, hero, you should lure Leo's foot to boss. Do you need to know what you've done? The girl will be the end of us all. Hey there, Leo. You've got her face in salt, bud. Trust me on this one. Wait here a second. I'd love to share a few choice words with Leo. What could you possibly have to say to me now? I'm going with Hero to Pentacle Leo. What you'd like to know? Don't you know that girl will be the end of our world? She's insane. I don't think so. I believe she'll the keys to something we don't un yet understand. I'm going to help her to accomplish her mission. If that means going to Pentacle, so be it. Besides, I use the opportunity to marry. Thanks for waiting up here. Let's, let's go to Pentacle, yeah. Forest of Illusion. And the next character. We're a bit salty that we went fucking healed after the last battle. I guess the run speed is good. Even if like you can hear the screeching of the disc spinning as, as we get to each load screen. Save infinitely. Like, we're shooting magic XP to level up. To save is just fucking stupid. Especially, um, since you can just infinitely. Especially since it's not a limited resource. to see what the version difference is between them. What the version difference is between um Sega, Sega CD and PS1 versions are. Do they ever make more than just how many versions of the Nerd 2 do they make? Like did they ever make a third version of it? We think that they must have made like a, a handheld version and that was it. Where they made a ton of versions of Silver Star. Better head north towards the illusion woods. Then we can go to Pentagolia. Ah, this is a good part. Shit, so we're going to actually level up magic to get um, a regen spell. We know that for the upcoming boss, um, the regen spell is really important in the remake. We have no idea how important it is in this one. It wasn't an armor shop in the previous time, was it? Oh, they only have three versions of Silver Star?
Lunar Legend and Silver Star Harmony. Okay, Lunar Legend is a retelling. So there's a Game Boy Advance and... Oh, Lunar Legend has some starring content stages, so it's not strictly a remake. And then Silver Star Harmony for the PSP. Okay, so yeah, it looks it looks like um Silver Star Story has um Silver Star has um yeah so, so we played th we played through the P we played the PS one version of Silver Star um and, and we and we played through the PS one version of this game like several three or four times probably four or five times maybe half a dozen and um we wanted to try the original. So now we're legitimately curious. What is what is missing from this version? Because the PS One version is one that we're super familiar with. a bit of the story in the remake. But we see it hasn't casted anything yet. Then Terminus, Tenbra, Tenobra. Like honestly, the PS1 version is absolutely was absolute. Eternal Blue was amazing. And we really hope that this version, like this, so far this version has stood up way better than we expected. We were expecting Super Nintendo style stuff. And instead we're getting something that was like just absurdly better. Jeez, this guy's not right. Do you get a light dice load? Remember you asked to play this round. Like odds and <laughs> So you can pat the pad show them things. But the pads are cut is invisible. I want to rematch using my dice. Oh yeah, right, whatever you say, old dog, see you around. If they if they, if they ever do another remake of Eternal Blue, um we're definitely going to play it. Wait, what? Are we legitimately just walking through the fucking tree? We're surprised that they've um, done Silver Star, Star, Silver Star three times and then are two only once. Well, we've known that for a while, but...
Was there much character development in um, Lunar 1? Like, it's possible. Like, what, what, what awesome stuff do the characters do? Because, um, like, we want to know if we, if we just, like, messed up and missed something important. Or whether, um, Whether there's like actually um or they're just our impression that was not good is correct. I wish we could spend all that magic EXP on you know, when we'd be much happier getting on the next level of healing the next um heal over time spell. Might need two more um well, this is certainly an adventure. First Sega CD game we've ever played. Um, we we'll played we played through the remake of this game many times, and have this is kind of like on our it's been on our bucket list for a long time. Are these things just going to infinitely respawn other fucking ones? is a great example. At least not all of them get their attack. Oh wow, that was the first dodge. Get those stars flying out fucking everywhere. At least I'm not doing much damage. Ew. Are these are fucking goblins. Goblins go mer. Goblins go mer.
get it right here? How cold is it? Oh shit, it's just, it's freezing, it's just freezing here. in Colorado. Ouch. I uh, know that doesn't let him look the way out at all. This is a proper maze. This is a proper fucking maze. 15 degrees sounds cold as shit. Winter happened. Winter is coming. Winter is here? Some shit like that. Oh yes, it's a lot. We think it, this might be the first time that it's hit freezing here in Seattle. Oops. That was a bit unnecessary. Didn't, didn't, we thought Hero had more max HP. Honestly, we're kind of really digging like the way that this the way that this version does this dungeon. Versus like um how it's done in the remake. We're gonna attack the birds because we know what the goblins do, they don't do shit. Oh wow. That's cool. That's cool. Like the AI does more to help you out in this game, in this one than in the remake. one version of this game. Um, yeah, so in the PS1 version it's like more like it's more like an actual Lost Woods rather than a maze. Yeah, so the reason why we moved up here, we used to be in the San Francisco area, but then um everybody just kinda all of our friends just kinda moved away. And we're like, okay, fuck it, we're moving to Seattle because that's where our friends are.
please don't fuck us up. Oh, Daze is confusion. Get it now. Oh, that's the last of confusion. High spirits, how are you doing? I hope, I hope that your day's been amazing and cute as fuck. We, this game has been on our list. Playing, oh, playing the original has been on our list to, on our to do list for like 10 years and we're finally getting around to it. Somebody in the Edge Case Collective Discord posted um, a link to a patch that um, like, takes features like. No match keeps the save from the Japanese version and ports them to the English version. I'd be like, okay, that looks like a great, great, that looks like a great, great excuse to play. Before to be in bed. Hopefully, you can sleep soon. everything on emulators on. We don't really like having to hold physical art objects. Like we kind of run on the minimum that we need to um, minimum that we need. We have a Super NT and a NES NT Mini and um, like and an old Super Nintendo and those are the only consoles that we have around. What the fuck was that? Did that actually do anything? Yeah, we think um in twenty fourteen we bought um we bought the, we bought we bought um somebody selling we selling the game with everything except for the game itself and um we were like okay fuck yes we don't actually want the game we want the necklace and then we got like other the other collectibles like a map we're probably weird but like the game the game feels like the part of it that we actually care about the least. The other collectibles mean way more to us. Like, we just wanted this necklace. Okay, so there's seven of them now. We actually get them in time? Like, we're gonna get a shit ton of EXP from this at least. How long does it take to kill seven of these? Oh shit, we have some armor that we need to equip, don't we? Never put the armor. Let's see if there's an equip screen in metal. No, it looks like we just gotta kind of equip it out of battle. I remember to. Okay, we're down to five. I think it stays that way. No. Nope. So it looks like calling. Oh, we were about to say it looks like calling more is rate limited to one for battle. God, this game hates us right now. Wait, did Ron Park actually have faster speed?
we simply remember the Goopies in Dragon Warrior 3. Or like the Grand Titan. The Grand Titans do that too, I believe. At least we should be getting a level from this for sure. Yeah, it looks like Ruby's AI and this is just to offer like a KO if, if there's one that's close. Five? 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 Six. Seven. <laughs> oh no. That, okay, we actually do need to target these better. These don't do any damage to us, they just take forever to kill. We wish that we, we wish that we had some AoE, but we don't. We don't. Like we were trying we upgraded we leveled up wind several times trying to get the wind AoE, but we just didn't. Legitimately did not expect this to be going on for this long. Like, this is getting a bit excessive. I think that they can't do any real damage. Oh geez, we're still at 7. We hope that we can we hope that this is enough to get him one part next spell. We see why the game offered checkpoints as save points, because it's possible, it's, it's possible to hard work for yourself with a, with a bad save. These are the goblins that never end, they go on and on.
if we really don't see a solution here, it looks like it is one extra. situation we've been in a long time. Oh, yes. Yes. I think this is it. I think that crit just did it for us. Do the golf one dance. This round, we've got to, we've got to, this, we're, we can take one, we can take that one out this round. Ruby will finish it.
but we can get it down to three right here. Our fire should like kill him there. Hopefully none of them call. Good. Good. Please. We do have to heal here, unfortunately. But like, run for three turns to be able to do damage. But this is the closest we've gotten. Okay. We did it. We fucking did it. This is it. Let's see how much EXP we get in after this shit. Magic EXP. They both leveled up. That's what we we're looking for. Gotta save after that. Like Fight of Ages. Goblin Boston. We're continually finding new areas. That's a good sign, I think. Okay, please, no more goblin boss. Hello, absurd bird. How are you doing? I think that you're doing amazingly. Oh shit, we need to just equip that armor. We need to equip that fucking armor. doesn't end up being that much of a news at the end of this. Looks promising. This looks nice and hidden. Oh. We bend this fucking way. Okay, let's try the other tree. Let's see if we get a Goblin Boss again. We think Goblin Boss should go better because we can deal more damage now. What? How did it do that much damage? Wait, did Ronfar just get like a shit defense roll that round? 
like seeing the goblins all do that much damage, like makes us think that each each character rolls on the rolls offense and defense per round. And it sticks for the entire round. Wait, why is Ronfar taking so much damage? Ronfar wasn't taking that much damage last time. The boot the AoE. That was the shit that we needed last time. That was the shit that we needed last time, did. Ungoblin boss, with this shit up. Range is much on um, how much power they can block. There's a much bigger problem in um, the remake. Like a good, this looks like the legit end of the maze. This really looks like the end of the maze. It sounds like it too. Music! Oh, it's really awesome that like, we can just... We got at the point. There's Jean! At the point where like... Jean is awesome. Some cutscene. Wow, that was amazing! She's the most skillful dancer I've ever seen. Well, thanks. Say, I haven't seen you here before. Are you visiting? Well, my name is Jean. <laughs> and if you haven't figured out what I do in the troupe, I'm the star dancer. We're just passing. How did you find us? We're just passing through. Bro, oh, that's the strange name I've ever heard. This is the most rock pony I've ever seen. A weird flying creature, a lady strange red dust, and a card shark. I'm not strange, why don't you take a look at yourself? I'll show you some what I really want to be remembered for. It'll just take five minutes. What's wrong with my dress? Hey, relax, I'm making fun of you. I just make an observation. You just stay for as long as you like. Dice shark. We're gonna run to the bathroom, grab more water, and we'll be back with more of this fucking awesome game.
Okay, so um, this, this, from what we're seeing now, um, we really like that they did in the remake better for this boss. This set of cards. You can do a former star of Miami Vice. Big dancer? I heard she used to be a karate master. They should not be a real sister, but we were raised together. One day I want to grow up to be a strong karate fighter. I asked Sheen to teach me karate, but she always gets sad when I mention it. I wish she, I knew why she did that. That's interesting. Um, we think in the remake they don't actually introduce that until later. She finds her. She's a supporter in the torn karate rags. That would still be the best. Hello, Marsworm. How are you? Hope that your day is feeling cute as fuck. You've been. I'm in charge of this little caravan. I'm gonna wait for Get better with Christmas celebration? Oh, yes. Ooh, this cannon. Magic arrow. It'll be one of our most popular attractions. I just want to make an accident with happen. It's quite safe, I'm certain. I worked on paper, and we've already sent monkey stuff in it. <laughs> Aside from little brain swelling, they're fine. So, I think we can cause it anyway. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking adventure. It looks as if you're dead. Her clothes were torn and bloody. Several days before she even had the strength to open her eyes. What? She never told me what she ran away from, but I know it still haunts her. Okay, so correctness of her woman, but in the remake, there was no hint of Jean's past yet. We don't think that there's any hint of Jean's past at this point of the game, in the, in the original. Or in, in the remake. It looks like this is the only way to go. Whoa, check this out. This hole is so big, there's no way around it. At least not for you. Guys, I can cross, but you're stuck. I have to go back. Okay, so in the remake, there's like a little sh hot, hot spring for their pit. There we go. So, um... We have to- this this area is the first time that we really feel like the remake is substantially better than the original. Like, the remake of this area is legitimately way better. If only I knew this, maybe then I can find the monster and get by the kidnap. 
looks like she's dangerous to attack. Help, Seijin. The voices are coming from the hole in the eastern tree over there. What hole? I don't see any hole in the tree over there. Because there's a magic spell on it. Only we can see it. I should push my cast to keep out Seijin from finding us. Show me this hole. Perhaps they hope we can defeat this beast. Everything else has been thoroughly equal. Now Jean's level 5 only. They're still fucking everything up. Wow, Jean is so fucking powerful. These goblins stand no chance now. Oh shit, even the seal is casting a spell. Is that the magic MP drain? Yeah, honestly, we're impressed at how true to the original the remake is. Also super impressive this combat system existed this early. Okay, so we're gonna attempt the speedrun strat from um from Eh, no we're not. Cool, we also have that. And she's a dancer, which means that she's high as shit agility. Is fucking awesome. We, we really don't think in the remake that um they said that they gave any hints about her backstory this early on. Um, we kind of liked it with it as it was more of a mystery, like adds the intrigue of building up her character. Whereas in this game, they're just like completely transparent, which is probably the main reason why we prefer the remake in this area. This is more maze, isn't it? Is this more maze or is this just a one way path? This is actually just more maze. next time level up before we eat. 
next um, healing level up before the boss. Because at least that's the, that's the strat in um, the remake. I don't know if it is here. Thank you for the follow of Fluffy Shenanigans. Very much appreciated. How are you doing? Hope that your day's going amazingly. Cool, it's actually good that it called for help because that um, significantly weakens it. I just don't weaken it, but it means that we're not going to take any more damage. Six for Jean. Yeah, this is totally gonna be a twenty hour game. Oh, this looks like a really promising goal. Yeah, this looks like the right way. It absolutely looks like the right way. It was well hidden and, and it looks like a linear path to the boss. It just feels right. I feel like range is a much more important resource in the remake than here. Thank you, Nightbot. You are cute as fuck, too. Wait, is this just the same place that we just came from? Oh god, this is just a fucking loop. At least these monsters are super fucking weak with Jean. Wow, Jean's just fucking them up. Okay, we just took this fight without taking any damage at all. RNG, please. Maybe this is just a complete dead end.
wonder if we're so overleveled to Jean because we had that fucking goblin boss. I wonder how far into the game we are. Okay, so this might actually end up being a 30 hour game. Especially if we play through the epilogue on stream. Which we might want to do, which we might, we might not. With the epilogue, it's entirely possible that we just set it aside for like six months to a year and then come back to it eventually. Because I remember the epilogue on um, not being very good in the remake. And by not very good, we just mean um, it's kind of long and tedious, grindy. have a heal an anti-poison spell. Antella's lair. Chomp. Give me a little boop of the soul finger. Added them. Looks like it doesn't look like they are super effective and not very effective things in this game yet. Which are gonna remake. I see it actually can cast fucking something. change color because we've dealt a lot of damage or because we use a fuck you up attack. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty fucking easy boss. Probably because of the goblin boss. Seriously, like Post Sword is actually, in the remake at least, is often the best spell to use through the entire game. At least until you get a other spell, which is triple Post Sword.
but it does look like reading pretty close to dead. Maybe we are Is, is this close enough to Battletoads for you? How are you doing? What the fuck is Battletoads? We're doing wonderfully. We're, getting to, we're finally getting to play the original version of this game, which is absolutely amazing. Took a CD version. Actually, we're still in area 6 out of 30. So yeah, this is this is gonna this is gonna be a 20 hour game, which is pretty awesome. It's probably the vine covered tree. If everybody just returned safely, I never can exit. Dean's gonna leave the carnival and I've got to face some problems I've been running away from. I wish I could tell you more. Just know that it's something I must do. Dean, I know your name's wrong with you. If the time to face him has come, so be it. And he'll never be at peace until you put an end to what's troubling you. What's Karate Master Bun from Rubio? You do this. Hey, we've all done things in the past you wish you could change. You may give me a chance at redemption. I pray that you do not waste it. What I want to say is to make it your return in one piece. So get out of here. Oh, we think the remake actually hints. We think in the remake she karates up the vines. And that's how, the, that's how that's done. We're totally down to keep going. Gotta go. Thank you for the luck. Hope you have amazing sleeps. Or not sleeps, or whatever the fuck you do. Wait, did that say to take it back to in the forest? Okay, so we're supposed to go up, not right. Hidden little sneaky ramps.
Ooh, it's town. Wait. Oh, is that just a fucking manor right there? The view bots really are everywhere. We really would like to run um, the remake of this. Like that's on our to-do list if we ever like get a year a year or two off work. Like running run like we yeah, running an eight-hour game would be fucking awesome. But would really test our patience right now. Totally take that. Secret loot is awesome, yeah. Like, we didn't think that there was gonna be anything over here. When we saw a cave, we're like, what? So, this is alternate progression? Oh, we can't go up that way. You know that there's a command to set, set everybody's just attack? Like, 
given how fast we can mash through, it just feels right to be mashing through it. Oh cool, she's actually gonna fuck this thing up for us. has some dodgeable encounters, like Tails and Zirconia style, and um, the, the speedrun the speed run literally takes like three random encounters and is killing the same same group like three times in a row just to get just in, in the forest that we were just in, just to get um, levels, just to get enough levels for our spell for run far. And after that doesn't fight a single random encounter at all. for on far for the next one. You bit me this is just a closed gate or locked door. I'm gonna budge. I'm not getting in here, hero. Disappointed by this, by this one. I 
base is... Okay. That makes more sense. The base is only for one fire. This is the second time that we've been disappointed um, by the, by this version. Um, in the remake, in the remake, the reason why the gate was closed is because Leo ordered it to be closed to prevent you from going through it. And this version is just some random ass, um, just some random ass monsters. Like in this game, the story is just that they feel it because there's monsters, which is way less compelling. Characters other than the hero, we find Leo to be the least interesting. Okay, yeah, maybe this is the puff? how well it's like matched the remake and now we're now we're starting to see the little holes it's still an excellent game but we're starting to see the little holes oh, where the fuck is Lamina? The remake, she's somewhere around in the corner. Like if, if anybody knows where Lamina is, please do tell us. Oh, here's the fucking pub. That's, we missed that in our last pass through. Definitely gotta be Lamina. My name is Lucia. I have come from the blue star. Can we like some pie? Here, this one's like fun, why don't we take the test? 
Oh, I forgot to tell you we don't allow flying cats yet. Let's forget that. I'm not a cat. But you look like a cat. I have to get moving. I don't have time to take your test. But you cannot pass the gate. I will tell the guard you can kill him. Let's just give him the gate. Perhaps that plan will work. Perhaps it won't. You can only try. In the event, I'll be around. Good fetish cooks. And that's kind of weird. Lord Leo will take care of them. Care, take care of the monsters. that Ronfar gets a fucking bow rather than just a mace. So did she open it with magic or did she just use a fucking key? Was she the best of luck? You don't need it. This one test I'm looking forward to administrating. I have to get there as hand time. Magic damage, which can't wait. We feel like running is better than burning magic. 
Although it's possible that things can only be damaged by magic in here. This is something that we have to repeatedly do. We can't get over the fucking fact that Ron has a fucking crossbow. So fucking weird. In the remake, Ronfar only gets maces, which fits the character much better. Now Ronfar just has a fucking bow. continue in the dungeon or will we just get the encounter immediately? I don't know, we can just fucking continue. Why would we kill any of these? Okay, so we have to say that the haunted manor is actually more is actually way cooler here. The haunted manor was a pretty mediocre dungeon in um the remake. Like this time it actually feels like you're going through a house, haunted house. Rather than just like an average corridor. Although we have to say that the encounters are way less interesting here. Encounters are definitely way less interesting here. Is it really just going to be the same fucking encounter over and over? We just have to repeatedly run from? Is Steve going to fuck him up? See if that kills. What? Only wind magic works? It's amazing. Fascinating. Okay, so, so the aesthetics are much and dungeon shape are much better in this version. But the encounters like are really not there. But is there nothing that we can do here? Yeah, the encounter. They. 
We don't know what they were thinking when they did these encounters. Just the same encounter over and over and over when you enter rooms that you can just run away from. But the aesthetic is amazing. It does not have this effect aesthetic in the remake at all. Is there anything we can do, we can do from this direction? Like, in, in the remake, it just feels like a generic dungeon. With some, like, wood-themed walls. so easy to wait, run away from that you can just like use run for his MP for healing. This is awesome. This is gonna be a legit 20 hour RPG with them with um, just content and no grinding. Legit gonna be awesome. Is there no way out of here? Okay, either we're missing something or we have to go back the way we came because we went the wrong way. We hope we aren't just lost. job with the encounters in this manner. Uh, this is... dungeon is just going to be entirely like this, then we think we legit, if anybody knows the way through, we legit would like help up where to go. Because this is just slow and annoying. It doesn't feel like interesting exploration or dangerous exploration. kill them they're actually gone for good so maybe we should just be killing them we didn't realize that they'd be permanently dead at least that's what it looks like like if they're permanently dead then we'll totally just take the time to kill them you know what we wonder if this is actually just a ghost hunt or we're just supposed to be killing the ghosts. And that's the entire point of the manor. Okay, now this is looking more interesting. Knowing that knowing that they don't respawn. Because like we killed them in this room. This room is the only room that we killed them in. Okay, this is way better than just having to repeatedly run from them and run for a maze.
Yeah, yeah, that wind is a hint to use wind magic. Which boomerang is wind type. Thank you for the follow, give me your loops. Very much appreciated. This your day going up that you're feeling cute as shit. We were trying to avoid spending having to spend 6 MP every fight. But now that we know that we can actually clear them out and like make progress, maybe the maybe the point of this mansion is just to clear out all the enemies and we're gonna get enemies of increasing difficulty. gives you much more um, control over positioning, which is important because there's enemies can have AoE attacks or attacks that go in line. So we wonder, we wonder if there's like going to be various levels of ghosts. about the Dragon Warrior battle style. It's just um, with how the simplicity means that the battles are very, very fast paced. I think we feel like Lunar 2 um, pushed, put at least especially the remake, pushed it as absolutely far as it could go. Um, how much they could get away with with obnoxious with long battle animations. wasn't open before. Which 
all the magic in the world and we need fucking wind magic. You can. So we have to say that this is the first time that we've looked at this game and said, and just felt, this is just bad. There's nothing redeeming about this. Is this is just bad? Wait, what? How were we able to go in there before? Wait, weren't we able to just get in there? Okay, this is weird. the answer that we, are, we would actually like to know. Um, if anybody knows the solution to this haunted house, we would actually like to know. See if this damage is involved.
Okay, so now that we see what they're going for, um, what we wish that they would have done is um done done the same thing. So, you know, instead of instead of like five or six fights, just have like one or two fights in each. Dungeon for us. Um, actually, we'll, we'll see how we're feeling after that. Um, I guess it's possible the next area will be awesome, but if we encounter anything um, that's not fun after this dungeon, we think we can be done. So hopefully, the next area will just be awesome. Fine, we're just gonna, we're gonna take one room to try something. We need to heal, so we're gonna... Let's see if anything comes out of this. Okay, we're kind of tempted. 
just over save at this point. Seriously? more before we figure that out. Um, we're, so we're going to soft reset this so we can read the hint once more. Sure that we're actually up for redoing that redoing that much. set a folder for the output. What do we do now? I think maybe what we do is just we re replay this with fast forward on. I feel like with fast forward we can replay this. Uh, 
Let's see if that actually saved. What? Why? What do we need to actually save? This is not what we wanted to happen at all. We didn't even think that we might have issues saving. It's so, sh so shitty to learn, like... There we go, we actually had to make- I think we had to, like, make a memory card file. Um... I wonder if anybody has a save file that we could just borrow that's at about the same part of the game that we were at. Yeah, this could be this could be a lot of redoing. If anybody can find us a save file from about that strict change of the game, that would be amazing. Is there a turbo here? If, any, if anybody can get us a save file, that'd be amazing. Oh wait, no, we're, we're just a fucking... What do we do with this? Like, we can definitely get to there faster, but... This is not how we wanted this to go.
We can set this a lesson every time that we get a new emulator, make sure that it's actually saving. Only because this game is good enough are we willing to actually redo this much of the game. But seriously, if anybody can get us a save, that would be amazing. Because this is pretty bullshit. We actually have to loop around. Since we're going to be fast forwarding so much, we're going to just play some music in the background. I found see if I was you found the end game ones. I hope that we're not being too lazy about using our magic.
I wonder if we could convince somebody to produce one for us. I feel like our health and magic is in a much worse position here than it was last time. In a much, much, much worse position because we're being much more careless. soon. Shouldn't be too bad to have to, re to re just rebuild it in this. But fast forward it should go pretty smoothly. I guess the fact that we're still going at this means that we really want to finish this. There are not many games that we'd be willing to put up with this for. Oh wow, that just wrecked this lens up just like that. See what we can do with this rebuild. Remember, right? There's nothing interesting here. We just have to go up there. We should not end fast forwarding that soon. How is everybody doing? Hope that everybody is feeling super cute. I'm willing to sit with us to this grind. Much less interest in the items, like we don't remember finding anything remotely interesting. Actually, what was that?
This is gonna be a fucking adventure. We can just AI the battles. Like we've completely failed actually going down the stairs. But we're getting some extra levels. That can't be bad. Paranoid, so we're actually gonna. We're actually gonna save and reset and make sure that this actually does save. Okay, it looks like that did definitely did save. What a fucking way, what a fucking way to end a stream, like, losing a five hour fucking save. It's a new experience. It's a very novel experience. Oh, it doesn't look like we can actually blind fast forward to anything, it's too bad. I <laughs> appreciate this, but I... I think we're getting out of here pretty fast. With the battles sped up, um, this game actually goes pretty fast. I think we should be able to get back to where we were in a couple hours. just joining us. Um, we lost a save four and a half hours in and now we're trying to rebuild it.
um, we, we basically lost it to the emulator not saving. The emulator we had been saving in the game, and we soft reset, and the game just the save just wasn't there. And that was because we basically didn't have a memory card set up. That's how we figure it. So like, there's an AI option. We've been just we've just been using that in like the areas where it's not where the combat is not interesting. I wish there was a slower fast forward. Or that we could bind fast forward to um, our controller. Hey, we're making this fucking shit work. that long ass boat ride. Wait, do we not? Oh, can we do this yet with us? Everyone is just vibing. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate way to lose a save, but hey, we're here now. We're gonna nail this. If we had a turbo button, that would make this much, much easier. Now we don't need to fuck around wandering anywhere, we can just go straight to where we need to. What? What, who do we need to talk to first? Is it that person? Oh, do we have to go talk to the, um... Do we have to go talk to the priesty people? Does anybody know who we need to talk to? Is 
Have we talked to enough people to figure out who Reinhardt is? Okay, that, that must be the trigger. There we go, that feels like that scene. Gotta be kidding us. Nope, it's not even fucking flies, it's just frozen. Actually, that far back, we can do this. Okay. Um. So we're, so we're playing without sound on because we're fast forwarding a lot. Like we we lost our save four and a half hours into emulator being stupid. Now we're playing without sound, um, because we're fast forwarding a bunch to rebuild the save. If anybody wants to get us a save, that would be amazing. But we don't think anybody would want to.
Uh, unicorn pooping. Unicorn poop crafting. Uh, um. We need to, um. Yeah, we, should we lost our save five and a half hours in, four and a half hours in, with an emulator being stupid. So now we're just, um. Now we're actually just um, fast forwarding through it to try and zoom our way back. to save, but eh. are painfully slow sometimes, so fast forwarding through the battles is huge it's hugely beneficial. I wonder if I'll ever play F6 again. Was it like the mirror that said that she's going to the docks? Does anybody remember like where we started going to the docks from here? Oh, oh, it was the mayor who wanted to charge a fee for information. Charges us a fee and then we can go to the docks with her. Six hours, uh, four and a half hours rather than much later. Wait, wait, wasn't she supposed to be like here? There she is. We're going to have to redo the Dragon Ship Destiny, aren't we? It shouldn't be bad at all. Uh, what was it? North? This way? This way at all? Right. 
Okay, hopefully we can level magic now. everybody doing? Hope that everybody is feeling cute as shit. I'm doing better than we are right now with this having to rebuild like this. Fifty-six gold. Angel ring. Okay. Not particularly useful, but worth grabbing. right under the destiny. Yeah. This rebuild is actually going decently fast. Okay, so if we remembered right, we had to, um, we had to kill at least a couple of those before we could, um, Maybe Hero gets to attack first now. Jeez, that load time is so long. Thank you. 
Oh, that was the end. the forest to redo now? Like, I feel like next stop is a forest. Which means that we're really close to actually um, getting to where we were before. There were no notable items in the forest. If anybody has a guide on this, like, after the fastest path through the forest, we'd love it. It's totally not worth it for us to, like, try and figure out, find, figure out the maze again. It's actually going way faster than I expected it to. Fast forwarding through, we like we guess that fast forwarding through this for the rebuild makes us realize like just how fucking long. So many needless animations are. Because with instant battles, like, it's just amazing. Hopefully we don't get another fucking goblin boss. If anybody knows the solution for this maze, please tell us. We are not in really interested in trying to solve the maze again. We just want to power through this and get to the next area. Any EXP that we can gain now will be much faster once you have gained. Oh shit, 
Oops, we just accidentally used the heal all again with our on fire. Yeah, we guess we might be down some silver lights, but it, that's like fine. If we just have to burn some like extra MP healing items. Oh what? We ended up back fucking here? It's actually kind of amazing how quickly we're rebuilding this. Wait, did we just revive? What just happened when we game over it? Oh, oh. We see, we survived because Lucia had run. the way through this maze, please tell us. This feels like getting closer to where we were. This is a new path. F6 is very, very good music. Been too long since we've listened to it. Final Fantasy VI. Nope, that does not feel like the right way.
we're just gonna fight this goblin boss. They're goblins. They're trying to kill us. Is this the dead end? This must have been the dead end. We remember running into this earlier. Thank you for the host, whoever that was. Um, Jrod64 with the one viewer host. Thank you so much. Oh shit! This is it. We just made it through. Oh shit, we need to actually talk to Jean first, don't we? Six or nine. Six or nine, definitely. Um, six is SNES, nine is PS1. Those are the only two final- we've played only three Final Fantasies and those are the only two that we'd recommend. Um, what do we need to do to trigger this? There we go. I'm actually amazed how quickly we're able to rebuild this with fast forward. Um, you'll be able to pick it up really fast. Mario RPG was our first RPG, we think. Yeah. They sing it, but yeah. goblins and goblin kings. It's actually kind of ridiculous how much time is being taken up by animations here. RPG is all that to equip a fucking sword. No, this is not a speedrun. 
it, the timer is literally just there for memes. Like if you look below the timer, it says everything is better with the timer. And that is our entire justification for having a timer. Um, this is this is a blind playthrough. We played through the remake, never the original. So so what happened with this was um we got four and a half hours in and then just lost our save to um the emulator not saving it. At that point we decided to um at that point we decided that we were just going to fast forward to rebuild. We considered just giving up and not even rebuilding at all. But honestly we've been super happy with how fast this rebuild has been. So. We're one hour into the rebuild with fast forwarding, and we've almost completely rebuilt it already, so it's not that bad. This is the most, this is the, our favorite piece of music from FF4, or FF4 6. we've listened to Evanescence, but we really do adore Evanescence. And Misery Business is a song that got us into Paramore. Oh, come on, that was just a fucking loop. We remember doing this exact thing, so we're really close. Six is wonderful. FF Six is an amazing, amazing soundtrack. Like honestly, this this is our this is our this is our single favorite track in the in the game because um it's an, it comes in a very emotional part of the game. Does anybody remember which way we went here? This is, um... What the fuck is it? This is Sully's theme. From Final Fantasy VI. We decided we decided to just mute the game um, when we did this. Okay, we're gonna run to the bathroom. We're gonna run to the bathroom well uh, before this boss fight. But we'll be back and do the boss fight.
This is a... Oh shit. Oh right, the FF14 soundtrack. fight. So this is actually pretty amazing. We're actually really close to where we were before. So with fast forwarding, we were able to rebuild in a third of the time. We'll totally take this. Gotta get the secret again. Holy shit, yeah, we're, we're basically back to where we were before. Oops. actually took the time to rebuild rather than just giving up. Because you really, really didn't want to play this game. Thank you. 
Okay, now we have to run around here and find the triggers. Super fucking happy to do it. I'm glad that you appreciate it. Like, okay. yeah, we think a lot of we think a lot of the time is just really long loads. Like we can every, every, like. Just feel how low on every single fucking load screen is. Oh shit, we never bought the fucking bow. That's what we forgot to do. Oops. We think we have less money than last time. Like, that's fine. These herbs are fucking worthless. I'm just taking up space. Run far as shit. We think this is already equipped? Yeah. This we already have. Oh, who the fuck decided to give Ron far a fucking crossbow? very highly among questionable decisions. Yeah, look at how long each of these loads are. This is a fucking terrible dungeon.
Maybe this is the last room. Uh oh, this room. And this is the dead end, and then we gotta go back to the last one. Question mark? Exit down here. Okay, that's just a shortcut back. So this is a rebuild complete. And let's the soft reset just to demonstrate that we can actually get the fucking save back. That's, that's the end of FF6 music. Um, close the shutters and open the door to opportunity. Close the shutters and open the door to opportunity. Make dark the window of your soul. Create your opportunity. Okay, this is a legit puzzle. Make dark the window of your soul to create the opportunity. feels good to be actually back. We just spent an hour and a half rebuilding, and we like the game enough to actually be interested in doing that.
Um, I think we were at a much higher level last time, but whatever. Make dark the window of your soul. We'll find opportunity. We're playing well. Yes, yes, you remember that. So, we had the shittiest thing happen to us. Um, we, four and a half hours in, we, we, we soft reset and the game just didn't save. So we had to, we spent an hour and a half of fast forward rebuilding. You were you were playing the PlayStation PS1 version, weren't you? We're, we're playing on the Sega CD version because we've had this on the game on the yeah. We're we're playing the Sega CD version and like. We've had this on our to-do list for like ages. So, uh, we're, we're glad that I'm fast forwarding, but it got us, it got us it all back really quickly. Like we were considering just abandoning it, but we really want to have played this game. Hi, Rar. We cute. Fucking Christmas there. Even where you live, it's not Christmas. Make dark the window of your soul to create your opportunity. Wonder of the soul doesn't that mean? Are in the twenty fourth? Cause you're the six. Me? 
make dark the window of your soul. If you said to AI, will I figure it out at all? Thank you for the follow, wise Anorak. Very much appreciated. I hope that your day is going to keep this fuckly. So we're wondering if like, there's any way to turn off some of the lights. Um, while this is going on, we're gonna go warm up some food, because we are in need of more food. Either the candles in the background, or it has something to do with um, dying.
we are eating kind of a lazy stick kimchi fried rice. Okay, this is literally just rice kimchi and show you. Um, if we weren't streaming and had, had could take like another 10 minutes to set up, we would um we would be making an egg with it. But um, in the interest of sticking around a stream more, we're just gonna eat it as is. A build. Welcome to the stream. Hope that you're having a cute as fuck day. Make the arc the window of your soul. Nobody knows the answer and is sitting there going. is a window of the soul. Like, we doubt it has to do with positioning of where we attack them from. <laughs> solve this. Like, we rebuilt for an hour and a half to get here. Like, we're just gonna be throwing attacks at these, hope waiting for somebody to die. stupid when this is all over. Like this, it's a question that we actually want to answer to. Does this puzzle have a fair solution or is it some obscure bullshit?
kind of obtuse. This is totally Super Metroid. Look, there's Samus flying back and forth with wings in the background. Make dark the window of your soul. Solve the puzzle, make dark the window of your soul, and you will find your opportunity. And our Christmas tree? What the fuck is our Christmas tree? on fire. So this might work. I'm guaranteed, but there's a legit chance that it could work. so we get to let you some fire, right? Buddha fingers of increased cuteness. Ah, yes. Even on our channel point fingers. That's literally just ah uh, and uh, increased cuteness. We're so glad that Goddess Cuteness is the name that we chose for channel names. It is the right name. It is Increased Cuteness. I like that. What? 
No. No, you're supposed to be dead. If anybody other than Pale Bunny who doesn't know the solution um, has any ideas of what to make dark the window of your soul, um, maybe if you know what it is, um, please don't tell us. Try this one, which try this idea, which is um, make dark the window of your soul meaning. Um, you 
you can, you did, you have not played this version of the game. You played the PS1 version, which is generally this, like this is the first area which is substantially different. The rest of it has been pretty minor changes so far, but this area is completely different. They took a book from the page from the book of good game designs and did not make this the haunted house in the remake. Yeah, with the window of the solar But this idea is just completely fail. We knew it was likely to fail, but we had to try it anyway. For anybody wondering, this is pretty typical for us with puzzles. If we owned a ghost house, we would put 20 copies of the exact same coat rack and coats everywhere. Thank 
Especially with that minion. That's not very helpful. character blind. Maybe we can just chop our characters into a pit and they'll just die and that'll be the end of the game. Keep trying to fuck around with the lights. Feels like there's nothing to interact with in this game. Like we're literally trying to interact with fucking everything and not able to. ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Kill Bunny, we're ready. Is there a way that you can give us a hint without giving us the answer? some of these fucking aids, but we can't. Um, so just to confirm, there's an, it, this is entirely within this dungeon, right? We don't need to like leave this dungeon or anything.
stupid if it involves a spell that we don't have. Oh wait, you can defend other people? Okay, so at this point, if we if we need a spell and we don't have it, what, what is the answer? Okay, so the window to the soul is eyes. If we had the right spell, we would have just brute forced it eventually. Like making us use a spell that we don't even that we might not have unlocked is really bad. So we literally just go in and farm it a bit. Hopefully level nine dance will give us what we need. Magic EXP every game, every fight, and then you can use magic EXP to level shit up. is a really stupid puzzle. Unfortunately stupid puzzle.
can't get a counter. Yeah, we can get counters like that. They killed two of us. <laughs> oh jeez, we're doing this terribly. We're dead. Oh, we're not gonna game over because Lucia is gonna keep us alive on HP. Ran away. Jeez, these loads are so fucking long. the first CD base, or one of the earliest CD based game consoles, so probably even worse performance than like a PS1. Hello Proto Man, how are you doing? Hope that you're doing amazingly. Hope that everybody's doing amazingly. Regin Dragon, very much appreciated. Hope that your day is going kid as properly. So, when we, after our first playthrough, and we never really abused save states, but after our first playthrough of this, um, the PS1 version, we learned that you can just save anywhere, so you can save before every single boss. Such a depressing. Uh, we didn't have the EXP for the level. Um, 
Lunar Legend? Is that the one you're talking about? Or is it like an actual a sequel? Or is it like an actual third lunar game? had high spirits appear briefly in our stream today, which is fucking awesome. Fuck. How do you put them to sleep? Blue complete. Like he passed us his notes and like was willing to help us out. And we still we still totally do want, would love to learn that game. So how the hell do we get sleep sleep magic? Like do we get sleep? Seriously? That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. It's like a fucking nine hour game. It, and the first one's gonna be like ten hours. over two hours. <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome to race. Like from what we heard from High Spirits, like the only the main really hard part is just learning so far. Um the short version of the route is um other than like one random encounter that you fight like three or four times in the early game. Um, when you're first picking up Jean, you do not fight any random encounters at all. And um, the save anywhere mechanic means you can just abuse that to like save every screen before you throw that shit. So, okay, so Pale Bunny or anybody else who wants to help us, how the fuck do we put them to sleep? Like, how do we get sleep magic? We imagine that we have to get it from Jean or something. Save anywhere in CT? What is CT? Oh, Chrono Trigger? Oh, uh, we don't know. But like... You, you can, you can literally... In Lunar 2 you can literally save anywhere. Like, take two steps in dungeon save. Take, take, take two steps in dungeon save. Which is why we're which is why we're a bit surprised that you use safe states. No, it's not a glitch.
So how do we how do we actually get sleep magic? Like we imagined that it would be James, but um like grinding out grinding out like another 2k match gate speed doesn't sound particularly good. Fingers that increase cuteness. Hell yes. Thank you. Like, we know that Jean will- we know that Jean does get a sleep dance, but um, we're kind of hoping that there's a better answer than like actually grinding out that much more extra magic HP. Like, They must have put in a bunch of those when we were offline. Bonfire spell are called Herbal Breeze. Oh, it totally fits Bonfire. Like, that's, that's absolutely drug slang. Because it's fucking run far. We definitely appreciate how all the characters are interesting in this game. Ruby exists. We were appreciating like how how little of the game was changed with the remake. So like the first thing that was changed, we noticed that was major that was changed was um the area around where you first meet Jean was um simplified a lot. Yes, yes, the PS1 version is the remake. This is the original. We we've had we've had playing the original on our to do list for like a decade. And we're finally getting around to it. Herbal Breeze would definitely be this version. Herbal Breeze is not in the remake. Definitely not in the remake. Um, we've played Silver Star Story Complete, and um, it was okay, but we didn't really love it that much. Um, in, in this, ga this game, all the characters really spoke to us, and um, Compared to, um... And by comparison, like... So for Star Story, the characters didn't really do anything for us. of this would have been avoided if we just had our original save spell. Actually no, we didn't have the spell yet so we would have still had to redo all of it.
These animations are so slow. And Ellie, Ellie, it, it speaks to how amazing, um, it, it speaks to how amazing, how close, how true to the original, the remake is, that you, that you were able to watch this for several hours without realizing that there's a different version. Gating progress behind a specific spell is fine, but like gating it behind that in a way that doesn't tell you that you need it is bad. Like, we're getting 200 magic XP per fight here, which is way better than out there. Are there really only... What? What? What the hell? It looks like we actually have the spell, we just didn't realize we had an extra row. Legitimately had no idea that there were more spells done there. We imagine that this is something like you're, you're probably supposed to look at the instruction manual to figure out. We have 20 people watching us, and none of them were able to figure out, hey, there's some extra row of spells down there. First thing when you search for Ron for Herbal Breeze was somebody having this exact same problem in 2005, and the answer being, "Have you scrolled down the menu?" Thank you. 
We absolutely love that they, that they were able to name a spell of herbal creation. Like, we, we wonder what, what the name of that spell is in Japanese. Like, what is the original translation? What, what was that before translation? That in the re Ellie, do you rec do you recognize this part from the re this part from the remake? Um, this is Lamelia's test to for you to join the Magic Guild, and um, they turned it into a puzzle rather than um, just a normal dungeon, or they turned it into a normal dungeon in the remake. Like this this is the first part of the game that's been very different. Um. The only other part that was different was, um, like the area where you meet Jean, um, they just, it, just, it was just more compressed. Oh, whoa, we're actually putting them to sleep. We're actually just putting them to sleep. Oh, shit. The beds were a fucking hint. The beds were a fucking hint. We're actually just putting them to sleep. Wait, these are fucking beds? We thought these were, like, we didn't know these were, but we didn't think they, they were beds. Up until Jean's Forest, we said that both games were basically completely were basically identical, which was amazing. And then, um, and you, when you meet Jean, um, they definitely just expanded this story with some aesthetics, and they also added that little shrine where you get to the uh, hot spot, the springs where you get to rest. Just like really nice minor additions, and then in this case, um, this is just straight up a major change. Oh, look, there's two beds in the background. The two beds in the background are in. I can't fucking believe that there's an extra row of spells that we're supposed to find. That is absolute bullshit. <laughs>
we don't have we didn't have it selected. Can you imagine us paying attention? Shakira? What is that? Dark Souls. We have never actually played Dark Souls. Yeah, we played Zelda too. A um, Meg walked us through it one day. Like we we literally said we don't want to think about this. Meg just walked us through it. You just down stab everything. Gonna go with something like Tetris as the original Dark Souls. Seriously, it's another fucking puzzle, not just a boss. We fucking love that Ronvar its thing was named Herbal Breeze. Like that's the best fucking thing ever. Knuckle Buster. I think in this hour after that bullshit puzzle, if we were a video game character, we would be the person in Zelda 2 asking for water. So, this is fucking ridiculous. They had- there's three different puzzles. Two of them they just straight up tell you the answer, and the third is some obscure nonsense.
really glad that they changed this dungeon. Um, this is this is truly a bad dungeon. Whereas um in the remake in the remake they have um this this dungeon actually has um, one of the hardest bosses in the game. No, we think for the third you have to know that you have a fucking third row spell. This fight gave us some sort of amount of magic to be like 750. What? That didn't kill? What the? Ellie, look, Ellie, run far as a fucking crossbow. Run far as a fucking crossbow. We don't feel like Ice or the Wind of the Soul was that bad, like, ultimately, um, ultimately that's something you can figure out just through trial and error by brute forcing every possible combination. So we don't think that that's that bad. Like, it's not good, but it's not terrible. fight five of these. Are they actually gonna make us fight five of these? Amazing sleeps when you get there. Um, yeah, we want to see the end of this mansion too. Is we are so glad that they didn't keep this dungeon. We're so glad that they fixed up this dungeon and just made it a normal fucking dungeon.
So based on the others, we're guessing there's just gonna be five to seven sets of this and then we're done. So let this be the last one. What the fuck were they thinking when they made this ending? Okay, this thing still exists. So, oh, we, we absolutely love the music for this. We think this music fits way better than the normal boss music. Um, in the in the remake. In the remake, this is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Like, actually just one of the hardest bosses. music really fits the fight aesthetic. right now. some magic exp to save but um there's a patch which um there's a recent patch which um made it brought it made it much more like the japanese version which removed that need so that's really nice just born with the fucking
have no idea if this can work. That worked well. How the fuck does she know a spell called Pulse Laser? This music, this music fits really well, but they made the loop way too short. They made the loop way too short. And we can see why they changed the music now. The game has been way easier. This, this version has been way easier so far. Is that gonna- yeah, it's gonna fucking bounce on one of us. Oh, that barely did any damage. We were prepared to get fucked up. This is a legit hard boss, and that attack right there which could just fuck you up. Like that attack right there would have probably would have maybe killed completely killed Ron Park from full HP the remake. Or at least in like 80 to 90 percent damage. You idiot! Huh? You totally destroyed my mega magic tester! <sighs> oh well, I guess you did pass. Ta da! Congratulations! You're a winner! <laughs> My name is Lamina Alsa, premier of the prestigious and world famous Magic Guild of Vain. <laughs> Did I surprise you? <laughs> Lamina is adorable. By demonstrating your skill with the various test monsters I placed in this mansion, you have now officially passed the entrance exam to the Magic Guild of Vain. She's gonna go with us to speed things up. What happened to your hand? <laughs> the magic guild sounds quite enchanting. The magic guild sounds quite enchanting. You say you want to find yourself hog tied and being dragged to this magic city? <laughs> Which part of- which part of hand? <laughs> I 
We fucking love to have stays there. That's fucking cute. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Um, we need to go get an x-ray for our thumb pain. Our doctor ordered one yesterday. Wrist rest like for keyboard typing? Oh, wrist brace. Okay. Wrist braces don't really help with thumb pain. Oh, we already, she already catch a fucking other stuff. Night night, hell bunny. Hope you have amazing sleeps and amazing dreams. Amazingly cute dreams. Wait, did that literally just- did she just staff bash? Did Lena just fucking staff bash? Did Lumina just staff bash? Like, do we have to manually use the item every fucking time? Oh, it won't be that bad. I guess we'll find out next- in the, in the remake, um, Lumina's stabs um, come with an elemental attack. You accidentally do a melee term for accidentally doing a melee attack with the, with the weak staff rather than um, the melee weapon. What the fuck? Did that just shoot its fucking head? That fucking attack. That's just amazing. Cap attack cosplay. Look, he's even wearing our little pen our pendant, Ellie. Isn't this pendant like the greatest fucking thing ever? We think it should be visible on stream that we're yeah, it's totally visible on stream that we're wearing it. Did so much damage. That's not really balanced well. Wait, Ella, you said your you said that your hand pain was thumb joints? Yeah. We we haven't um Wrist braces did not help at all with thumb joints. If anything, it made it a little bit worse. Um, so like, a, a wrist brace? If you, if you like put in a wrist brace, um, like, you notice that, like, like, holds in place, which kind of forces your thumb, kind of pushes your thumb out a little bit. 
that's bad for the thumb, but really, but quite good for quite good for this area. Like honestly, these thing these little gloves are the only thing that we found that works. Our therapist suggested a different brand of these, and um, there's a good chance we'll end up buying those and seeing, what happens, seeing if those work. They're super effective and not very effective attacks. Um, in this in this game, um, we haven't noticed anything like that. All attacks seem to just do the same amount of damage regardless. Like we haven't noticed any elemental type anything. Maybe there is an elemental type something here. Mario RPG style of free travel. Oh, that might be why it's just gone. Because everything just kind of respawns immediately after. She's gonna be up at 1 HP next time. Purity herb. Pretty good, gratuitous with the animations, just like the, just like um, the remake. differences are between, between the versions. Because we're next to the water, it actually gave us a different background. It's sparkling gorgeously. Like graphically, this is incredibly impressive. For 95. I think that the combat system is better in the remake. Um, they put, they basically like took this, 
as a template and made some small improvements to, like make it more tactical. Feeling it's somehow familiar. Oh, Galleon! What the fuck? Galleon has a fucking pistol in this game? does not fit the game at all. Hijax MP, Magic Sweeper. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool graphic. version than in the original. Seriously, that was it? Like the enemies just don't do very much damage. We don't think we've we don't think we've had any other than like Lucia wrecking the entire party, we don't think we've had any deaths or bosses. every single boss fight and winning without any trouble at all, other than that Lucia confused. Like, look, it's not doing any damage to us at all. And, yeah, there's lots of gratuitous animation lengths here. We think we probably have to stop that after this, or at least um, maybe maybe we'll go to, maybe we'll go to the eight-hour mark and I'm stop there.
because like we really want to keep going. But at the same time, we should get some sleep at some point. Um, we probably have a little bit of time. Maybe. Maybe we'll be half asleep. The time to come to this world is not yet. It's my duty to protect the gateway. Can't be. We need to get moving again. Let's continue. That fi that fight is not in the remake. That that fight does not really fit anywhere. That fight doesn't really feel like it fits thematically at all. segment of the game, um, we think that they really improved. Well, we think of this, we think of this segment of the game, um, in this version they did something, it, it feels pretty unique, only the uniqueness didn't quite work, whereas, um, in the remake they turned it into just another generic dungeon, which works. Just another generic dungeon works. We're actually going to run to the bathroom and grab more water, so we'll be right back. Who knows, maybe we'll keep going to the 9 or 10 hour mark.
fucking go with more Lunar. <laughs> I wonder what the longest stream we've ever done is. Our longest stream was actually last month of RuneScape. Oh yes. Um, our, our, we're glad you're enjoying it. Our second longest stream was um, us doing a Ruby, Ruby Rando, and um, we, gen we were looking for five eggs, and it turned out that we generated a seed with four eggs. Oh wow, our third longest stream was Lunar 2, was the Lunar 2 remake. And our fourth longest was um, our first Diablo 2 Hellrun attempt. Sixth longest was doing Oats 2D Metro Marathon, and then... So, so we're already in top 10 longest streams right now. And that was like... Which is impressive considering all the other shit that we've gotten done today. We got our car battery replaced, we went grocery shopping. We played a 2v1 against Snow. Best of three. Today has been a great day. Today has been a fucking awesome day. It would be an absolutely t terrible idea to make- to turn this into our longest stream, but um... Probably gonna go for at least another hour. We don't know how much longer we'll go for. Hello, Comfy Basilisk. How are you doing? Hope that you're doing amazingly. And thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. We're legit tempted to keep going for another two and a half hours to make this our longest stream ever. It'd be an absolute shit idea to consider it's at 6 a.m., but we might do it. Like, we're enjoying this enough. So, like, at the four and a half hour mark, we found out that the game wasn't- the game just wasn't writing to memory cards properly. So we, um... So we lost our progress of four and a half hours, and then, um, so we actually used fast forward and got that progress back in an hour and a half, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, probably not cute time after. Come 
Grumpy Basilisk raiding with a party of 21. Thank you so much for the raid and thank you so much for the follow. How, how did your stream go? Hopefully you had a cute as all shit stream. Streaming Clumpy Basilisk. Are you streaming Super Metroid? Zelda Dynasty Warriors. We have never even heard of that game. We're legit curious how you found us now. That is fucking awesome. We're super happy that we took we're super happy that we took the time to um, set that up today. Like normally we normally we wouldn't even bother to set that up. But today we like today we set it up and then went on a small rant about how we have to set it up each time and we're glad we did. It let you find us and super hyped that you super hyped that you find this to be a comfy stream. That's actually a really sick idea for figuring out who we want to raid in the future. Okay, should we go up or down? I feel like up is the answer, so we're gonna go down instead and see what's there. Oh, that's what's down. Yeah, comfy. You feel cozy? Thank you for follow, Taco Mouse. I very much appreciate it. How are you doing? Hope that your day is going cute as fuck. Cute as fuck, Lee. Oh wow, the enemies are the same. Enemies are the same, only like we're a shit ton more powerful. In the remake, Jean has infinite range. Actually, that actually sounds like a really awesome plan. How many people actually take the time to set LGBTQ um, every stream? Because Twitch like makes you send every single fucking stream. It doesn't reset every stream? 
It's been resetting every stream for us. Maybe it's, maybe it's every time we change categories it resets. Resets every couple streams? We missed when the trans tag was still around. And it stuck. But yeah, we'll have to we'll have to start setting that for sure. Like actually remembering to set things. Which is actually remembering to do shit is like hard for us. Other than to be cute, that one is easy. Honestly, like, we used to have a really good memory. And we used to, like, pay careful attention to shit. And then, um... Like, we got ourselves into a situation where, um... Like, we feel fine not doing that. Like, we, we, we've learned to, like, focus more on feelings and just run off feelings. And now, like... Wait, does normal- can normal OBS, um, can normal OBS do that or only Streamlabs OBS? If normal OBS can do that, that'd be amazing. I had to give run for a fucking crossbow. Only stream lab WS. Huh. Now, how different is stream lab OBS from normal OBS? Like, we remember, he, we thought, I think we've heard people rant about it before. Like, if we could just import profile, import tags, and be done, that would be amazing. That'd be amazing. Honestly, we weren't even thinking about how important it would be to set LGBTQ. Wait, no, this is the way we came from, isn't it? Is that the way we came from? No, that's not the way we came from, is it? Totally the way to go. We love you. We, um... Yeah. Honestly, switching to just focusing on feelings. And like, being able to drop most tasks. Tasks. That actually sounds pretty fucking awesome. But yeah, no, we definitely have not seen waterfalls. Giant ash waterfalls. Oh, there's the ruins. There's a the galleon ruins. Like, honestly, having it set LGBTQ would be huge because that. Now that you're mentioning that, we're wondering if like being discovered through that tag is why is how we've maintained as many viewers as we have tonight. Like we never, until now, we never really thought about like realized that people would actually use that to discover streams. And now that you say that, it seems so fucking obvious. This town. You remember this town.
steal his HP in the party? That's a pretty fucking stupid spell. Free town of Noda. Anything your heart desires here. Don't get the part where you hand a dollar over to someone else. Why do you do that again? They tried to do any functions to a mouse button on a mouse button. Okay, let's do weapons first. Super common question, so we just throw it into the pronouns thing. That is a dragon ship destiny. <laughs> uh, hero, is there something you haven't told me? Why is Lord Leo interested in this? You near so at different times. She's obviously interested in this, yeah. She looked for me, and you wanted to hear us? Oh, oh, this is when we do the magic arrow, isn't it? I 
still wish that Twitch would bring back a trans tag. Take us to Noel's place? It feels like this is the path to Noel's place. How fucking fast are those things? idea was to give one for a fucking crossbow. In the remake, Ronfar just has a mace and bashes people in with it. Like, I'm pretty sure that this is the wrong direction. Ah, oh, okay, that takes us to get the galley on moons. Identity fluidity is really fucking awesome to us. Like, embrace the chaos, embrace everything that was changing, and just roll with it. And every and every time there's another change, get excited as shit about it. Identity is for playing with, minds are for playing with, gender is a toy to be played with. We are actually really impressed that we've just been playing for this long. Especially considering all the shit that we did before playing. Like, and playing this long with the fucking four and a half hour setback that we got. so wide open. There's nothing like this in um the remake. There's nothing like this just huge wide open area. This really gives you a feel of a forest. Like they really pushed how much area free space they could create there. This is fucking awesome. This is legitimately awesome.
we, we super love like the crescent on uh, on Athena. Like that that's not really that prominent in the remake. And we super appreciate the crescent moon. <laughs> He's been to be switched by a big deal. I can do that too. Oh, that looks like some kind of natural ability in there. I'm going to No thanks. Do you see W money? Well, maybe you do have just a little fun to hang around here. As long as you double my money too. <laughs> Relations establishment, there's no cheating here. If we were speedrunning, this would be a place to like legit just repeatedly double your money. So do I get rich or not? doesn't have a fucking bow anymore.
my shoulder. How are you? Doing? Reading new clues for this year. I'll make sure that the arrow gets used maneuver. It's not just choosing clothing. Well, it's definitely pink, but I think the bus kind of cute when she looks like a birthday cake. Next. Well, that disguise might work. Yeah, no way. It's too many Lennox. Yeah, too far west. Next. <laughs> How are you doing, Charlotte? Hope that your day is going to be sparkly. Are you teaching your grade 6 students? On gender identity? Yeah, we, like, our experience has been that younger people are just like, whatever, whatever works for you. Awesome. They're perving in on them. They deserve that. In many ways, we feel like the cutscenes here are like even better done than in the remake. Why are you staring at me? You look fantastic. The thing of out of weapons makes me really young. Here's the old man was playing. I finally found you traitors. Let's get in! Oh, do you really think you can escape me? Guess again. Enjoy your little flight. How the fuck did you make that do a complete 180? Where's the personal discovery receptacle in this thing? The what? There you go. Galleons. Home. <laughs> Is one the same liquid that you deposit in the arrow? It smells awful. Is this like some kind of custom conveying. <laughs> we'll save that lesson for later. Ancient magic in this place. A seal. Yes, a magic seal. I don't sense anything. This is very old magic. I doubt humans can detect it. We'll try to remove it. Uttered by humans. 
It sounded like magic that only Althina should know. Who are you? I have told you. My name is Lucia. I come from the Blue Star. Quickly, we must go where this magic holds. Of strange ruins or something. This is some sort of magic historical record. It needs to be hundreds of years old. Let me try to activate it. Oh, this is this is gonna show a cutscene from the first game. <laughs> That's the tank that Galleon used to try and take over the world. Whatever the fuck Ellen was trying to do. We never really inter quite understand the, so the story of the first Lunar game. Oh, there goes Vane. Vane, the flying city, just got taken out of the sky. Um, like. What exactly did happen in the first lunar? Um, like remember some, we remember some. There's some wasteland and some areas, but it never really it tied together in our brain. Tell me, says when Vane was destroyed. Former self, Althina. What does this record mean? <laughs> We have that it was a record of my best work. Who's there? Fortunately, I now have a chance to surpass it. The world will once again be mine on a delicious half shell. And you can't stop me, Lucia. Galleon. How do you know who I am? Oh, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I am Galleon. <gasps> Galleon? Uh -oh. Yes, I am the same Galleon that was buried and left a cursed memory. And yet I now live again. Truly, if there is a god of destiny, he is fond of plot twists. <laughs> and so am I. The time is not yet right for our decisive encounter. We will meet again, dear Lucia. It's our destiny. <laughs> Evil laughter. It's a person who magic enter Galleon. Sees Althina Pup's power and, and tried to destroy the world. This is the same person we're all in trouble. Oh, Lamina, that was centuries ago. And besides, wasn't ma the magic emperor destroyed by Dragon Master Alex? That's what Grandpa Gwen's history book said. There's no way that he's human. Magic is too strange, too strong. Something in his eyes. This is a neat, completely unexpected side quest. We adore this. It'll be fun to see what they like um, in this version. In the remake, like, there's floating platforms.
Could be much more simplistic. Um, in the remake, in the remake, there's a shit ton of moving buttons everywhere. Just because I'm the plus agility. Plus agility will um, let us heal first before bosses attack. There's really going to be that many notable loot. That one looks more pretty to buff us up, so let's kill that one first. Started it and it, even like 10 minutes into the game, you could feel it right, that we'd made the right decision. Oh, 
it's not going quite the way you wanted it to. overkill, but we'll take it. We think that we think on one of the things that is disappointing about this version is the lack of difficulty. In the previous version that we make there's like actual difficult bosses that we have to go fight through. But in this version, it seems like we're just freely waltzing through every boss. That is a massive, massive attack boost. We're only a tiny bit of defense for Say the CDs were sold. And it sold two million, two point two four million.
we think our attachment to this game really shows because um we think by the time we're done tonight um two of our two of our five long two of our five longest streams will be playing this game just like casual playthroughs of it different versions same passion Oh yes, that is a slight hint. And the fact that we named ourselves after Lucia. Which is quite honestly an incredibly badass thing to do. Naming yourself after a video game character. Do you think this gives plus 20 resist all? Plus 2 all skills? It definitely does? Hell yes. Did they just attack together? Said skills are all in cuteness. Just name your character Ellie. Okay, where, where the fuck do we actually go now? Like, I feel like we've ex fully exhausted this area. Oh, Ellie Crombie. How are you doing? Hope that your day's going to just properly. Yeah, these fights are ridiculously easy. We're good? Oh yes. Okay, there, look, look, something actually tried to kill us. It's an awesome change. <laughs> we wonder if Urban Dictionary has an entry for Buckley. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what it fucking was. We just looked it up. We think a huge part of the problem for the balance in this game is is how um cheap MP wise it is to just spam that spell.
in the remake you definitely get to the point where you can just melee everything and um and just use all, all the MP for only healing but you get to that point about two thirds of the way through the game whereas we're about a third of the way through the game we hit that point like at a quarter to a third of the game That's AOE, isn't it? Or not? I hate that you have to use the water staff and that um it takes so much it takes so much time for it to show up in the menu. And um, we're pretty sure that in this save we're even lower level than we were lower level than we were in our original save. This is where the statue is, right? We really like how much this how much the crescent is emphasized in this version. Okay, maybe we were supposed to just keep going forward. Oh, we missed something. In the fucking teleporter, please. to go. I kind of do wish we had more of a fast forward button for these battles. We are kind of hitting the point where the battles are just super easy. so we can see whether we're in 5B now. Oh, Mr. Green's fourth floor. Okay, so we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. It's silly that saving is one of the best ways to figure out. Saving lets you see which floor you're on, which is one of the best ways to see and what your progress is. See, that's actually taking us to a lower level. Oh, okay, cool. This actually is 3F. Q. 
Okay, so we do think that there's something in this teleporter maze that we missed. But we don't know what. Take whatever the fuck we just did to get there. Why the fuck does that one have so little HP and the other one has so much? So this game only has two versions, this one and the PlayStation version. The PlayStation one does not have random encounters. This is the Sega CD, which is on, which is the Saturn version. They only ever they only ever made two versions of this game. They made like four versions of the first one. They made four versions of the first Luna, but um, never any, never only one remake of the second. Which is too bad, because we think the second was um, a much better game. version of this dungeon is like better. There's um the moving floor puzzles are kind of interesting. But at the same time like it's just kind of an, an annoying puzzle. I feel like neither dungeon is particularly notable. Well, we think of the, think of the PS1 version is more memorable for here, just because the monsters will fuck you up to a much greater degree than what we're encountering here. Like, we think just the monsters fucking you up more makes them that more memorable. Oh, 
special condition. Orange magic complex. So we have a feeling that we're gonna end up um, actually pushing our sleep schedule around. Just rotating our sleep schedule around by the time um, we go back to work after New Year's. We do appreciate the music. Like the music is basically unchanged between the two versions, and we really appreciate that. Like we can go on a long rant about how um, the, the PS1 version of Fantasia, of Fantasia, fucked up the music so badly. as the um, remake. So the remake it made it, it made it differently, no teleporter shit. But it, but it honestly it kept the aesthetic of um you just you just feel completely lost. Seven MP for um, for, for the heal all spell is pretty broken. fucking hyped to race some Lunar 2 is kind of complete with you. Like that sounds fucking amazing. We do like to prep for it and we get like reasonable sub 10s, at least sub 12s. Okay, 
Hey, this looks like somewhere new. Definitely feels like somewhere new. Oh wait, this is takes us fucking back to here. Combat set of his own. I didn't really care for the epilogue. Epilogue um, in the remake. You can see just kind of end up in a combat situation with like long dungeon grinds where you're just following the same format over and over. Our hero continues to stay under leveled. Significantly under leveled. So it looks like there's some moving platform nonsense here. But hopefully, hopefully this takes us to the final area and that's that. Yeah, this. It's always a good time when you solve a puzzle without actually understanding why you, how you solved it. Actually, getting forward, moving forward, or are we not? Like, we're not sure if this is actually moving forward or not. Have we been this way before, haven't we? Yeah, no, we've totally been this way. that we want the option of like being able to revisit anytime we want. Like we've occasionally been sad that we don't have our blind playthrough once the past saved anywhere. keep it fitting into four. Spells be transform into more powerful spells. What? Okay, so those things totally aren't symmetrical. That's how we ended up solving the other thing. These teleporters are not symmetrical.
We're taking out so many of these groups without them um, taking any damage. It's not where we wanted to go at all. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Hope you have wonderful sleeps. It's 7 a.m. here and we are enjoying this and we keep going. Hope you have amazing, amazing sleeps. Uh, it's gonna group attack us and fuck up everybody, isn't it? Feels like the road to Rome from Dragon Warrior 2. Where, like, there's various choices, and if you choose the wrong one, it just sends you backwards in the dungeon. And you just gotta guess and check which one is the right one. So now that we've actually been here more, um, we're starting to really appreciate. I'm starting to really appreciate what they did with the remake of um, just turning this into a much more generic dungeon. We, we feel like working designs and really tried some experimental stuff with these dungeons, and a lot of it just doesn't work. A lot of it is just. I feel like a lot of stuff that we put in this dungeon is like, okay. It was a fine experiment to run. Just running in circles now. We're not sure where the quick answer of where to go is. Does anybody see any solutions of where we should be going? It really does seem to us like we're just kind of running in circles.
can get ourselves back to the center thing. Is it actually any good? Is this actually progression? Hi, it's Buckley. Okay, maybe taking that thing up to the right up there is the answer. I'm kind of confused as to what the hell we're supposed to be doing here. I feel like we've just been wandering in circles for fucking forever. Oh, we don't really understand where we're supposed to be going. Is that our, our characters are generally faster than our opponents. Like, there's very few cases where our opponents, like, consistently get tempo on us. Yeah. You can see Samus flying around in the background with wings. where to go. Does anybody actually have any idea where to go? Because you're completely open to it. And you're completely open to ideas at this point. You can really follow Germ. German Mir. I very much appreciate that your day's going to keep us properly. circles for a really long time in this floor. It has to we, we have no idea where the exit is. But but figuring out that um teleports aren't symmetrical is a is a huge step forward. But like the yeah the fact that the fact that we can attack faster than um 
Basically, any enemy is huge. Okay, we've done this dance before. We feel like we've gone everywhere here before. I feel like it has to be like some teleport some teleporter somewhere that we need to enter. This significantly easier. Oh, is this new? This might be new. <laughs> There's the exit. That they, like they really go through extra effort to to, to create a more complex characterizations for everyone. Miguel was just straight up the villain in the previous game. They added more humanity to Galeon. Looks like looks like we're committed to making this our longest stream ever. Another hour should do it. We're definitely not going to the 12 hour mark. That would be a bit much even for us.
Oh, it's one part in the far left. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna forget all the way over there. That dungeon was a mess to get out of. I'm gonna be that. Galleon. Looks like Galleon. Does it make any sense? Why would he go out of his way to help us? The dude's been badly injured. Quick, we must get him safety. Retreat at once. There's so much complexity to dig into every character. Wait, do we have the snow? Is it the snow area next? Ooh, it looks like made from fish. For fish oil, it's my kill that's lucky smooth. And the smell is not that bad. She <laughs> said lady, not kitty kitty. She's obviously talking to me. This snow, to the snow town where um, the monster is like making it super ice snow. Oh, 
overstocked on models during your Disney's move to Cool Anglia. Auto. Yep, this is going to be the snow area. The world map, um, honestly, may be better in this version. Who the hell is here until under level when it's over to me? Interesting that like the range that they can to travel to attack just doesn't seem to be a factor in this game. Whereas in the original, it was a huge factor that you had playing around in the early game at least. Not not so in the later game. In the early game, it was a huge factor. So according to this guide, we're a third of the way, um, we're a third of the way through the game. At least by areas. Which is honestly less far than we expected to be. Even counting in like the armor and half that we lost. We we're, were kind of we we're thinking the game would be closer to 20 hours, right? Not 30. really does look very icy.
experienced a significant DPS increase. Probably want to keep the ritual dagger around them just because um, the extra speed would be really useful for bosses. I think you're becoming a career center. Wait, it's into a world. One of them. supply in the town is running out because winter is taking too long. Is the mother is upstairs with a sick child. And we believe Lucia is going to sing. for the town. Very, very classic quest. Very, very classic. <laughs> yeah. We love how we just like to give you those options of like, do you want to start the quest? Do you want to advance the story? No. No, thank you. I think I'll just stay here. I don't really, I don't really want to finish the game. Very question for my choice. Actually, dealing more damage. 
Oh wow, double crit. That's like an ice bridge. Guess not. This area is finally making enemies more difficult. Um, I think one of the huge things is that the enemies finally have enough agility to um, be attacked to go on for us. I'm <laughs> sure a lot of guys named her hiding in chests. things into the sky. Oh, these things are dangerous if I remember correctly. I think of those things can bounce around and hit everyone. I guess they can remake. Well, it doesn't look like they can do that in here. Oh, wow. Okay. It's actually kind of good that they're all hitting here. Okay, no, we'd rather have the damage spread out because we're going to be casting a heal everybody in the party. They just don't have any real chance of healing us because they don't do enough DPS. progress. It's a nice play on um, the normal. Go up, 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 up. I 
genius can do they get a crit? I wonder if agility affects or speed affects crits. The AIs also seem to have a real habit of just um glitching out and not actually not actually getting to attack. dungeon in the remake, Lucia makes some friends, and Lucia's AI changes to, um, in the, like, in the past before that, she would only, like, only heal herself, but now she'll, like, actually heal other people afterwards, that sort of AI change. It's really cool that they change the AI, like, as she grows as a person. experience so we want to do a 12 hour stream one day we've never actually done a proper 12 hour stream and today is not the day for it we did 12 hour stream we want to make that our entire day Nova. That is going straight to Trans Lifeline. Oh no. Shit, we see what this is. Those are one way those are fucking one way things. Fuck. We didn't realize that those are one way. Hopefully we didn't just completely screw ourselves over. It does feel like there's a chance that we might be in a new area. Either that or we just went all the way back to the beginning and we have to redo everything. We'll find out soon.
Yeah, like, it looks like this one just acts as a requirement. Do a bunch of, like, blind one-way... Like, just blind go down a bunch of one-way hits. Which is... Creative level design. Yeah, so in the, in the remake, those things will fuck you up and hit all of your party for, like, a third of... Third to half of their max HP. But in this, they're not doing shit. We haven't seen anywhere they could like buy a fire stuff, have we? Because the water stuff is very clearly doing half damage here. Take a blind one of those is okay. We guess that that's not fully blind. At least this this is definitely a new area. I think we drank a lot of water with food. Um, we're gonna run to the bathroom again, and we're gonna be back, and we're gonna keep going for probably another half hour to hour, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna head to sleep. Be right back. I think this is probably the first time I've ever been streaming at 8 a.m. No, you've seen this week at 8 a.m. before. 
Like, remember that time when we just started shifting our sleep schedule, or rotating our sleep schedule around? You were definitely around for that. That would have been a year ago after surgery. Oh yeah, we totally remember that. <laughs> You're in luck. Our subscribers are going to be aligned with yours for them for a significant part of the next week. Dover nut, that's a super healing item, isn't it? Fire ring. Um, what does that do prevent? Ooh. attack power definitely goes to Jean who gets to attack first. Those one-way shoots are like... Yeah, look at look at how much better this is. We gave it to her both because she attacks first and because she gets three attacks. Take care of this. Feels that like um them just trying to milk the du every dungeon for all for all they can. Which is probably exactly what they're doing. spoons for this game for a long time so we don't know when we'll actually be back with this like it's possible we'll go fuck yes tomorrow let's fucking go but at the same time um despite how awesome of a game it is we have been a bit disappointed by um the dungeons so you think that was a cat that was bugged?
That is fucking sick. That is fucking sick. And we're gonna- uh, it's probably gonna give us a type advantage here. Check your status to see how many attacks Hero has now. It worked out. There still has two attacks. Okay. For whatever reason, we thought it was just one. Okay, there we go. That's the gap that we can now cross. Going, going more and more, like, it feels like they try to add more gimmicks to dungeons, whereas the remake, um, is, has, plays a dungeon more straight up, and, um, like, the manner was absolutely awful. Galleon, Galleon's place was, was, was okay. Like, that's actually, it's actually fitting to have, like, one maze like that. This backtracking dungeon is a bit much. It's a bit much that they're having, like, questionable dungeon after questionable design dungeon. Snow cave right side, that's the technical term for this. Right now, what they really need is, um, we, th we think that they went for too many experimental dungeons in a row. And they just kind of needed, um, actually now that we think about it, um, the forest maze was, um, 
Yeah, this game is just chaining experimental dungeons back at back to back to back. And we think it's a bit much. Even if um we think we think individually any of them would be perfectly fine. Even like multiple of them in the same game. Just not back to back to back. This should be the boss. Part of the game, um, the, this game looked exactly like the remake, but um, Hero. and Hero. honestly, it looks it still looks amazingly like Hero. the remake. Hero, Hero, wake up! Uh. Hero. Like, we are legitimately Please impressed at how the like, difference me? there is between the two of them. She's here to help us. Or help us recover. She's worried that they died. It's your life, your mission, again, because it makes no sense. But just before I came to you, I felt something was wrong. Not wrong in general, but wrong with Hero. It was very strange. When I was alone in the Blue Star, I never had such a strange feeling. It was like the Hero and I were one. I've never felt that before. Whatever Hocus Pocus called you back to us, I'm grateful. If you hadn't come by, we'd probably be popsicles by now. Let's find the others. Massive character growth for this year. Really, really awesome point. King size walk of a headache. I think you found me. Guess I'm luckier than we thought. I think I remember Ruby screaming as a snow like I can't believe I'm still alive. Thank you. Oh cool, look at my dress. It's absolutely soaked. Wait, there was an avalanche, wasn't there? I'm still alive. So alive. It's because Lucia came back and saved us. So glad we were able to we were able to find and revive all the party members. For a while they were frightened by what I might find. It's strange, I feel like my heart is relaxing. It's called relief. It's the opposite of anxiety, which I felt earlier. Relief. I like this feeling of relief. There it is. That is a creative sprite. That is definitely a creative sprite. State where it can't take any damage. Oh, well, I can't take damage. Yeah, we, we feel like there hasn't been very much tactical stuff with the bosses. In, in the remake, we feel like we have to think during bosses much more. Ooh. Okay then. Yeah, this is right as we're complaining that every game is too easy. Looks like we might actually die. Which is fucking awesome. Like honestly right now we think the game over. It's great. Um
So we're probably gonna die because we lost our main damage dealer, but... Oh. I think hero is our main damage dealer. It's safe to say hero is our main damage dealer. Actually, no, 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 I think that's probably our main damage dealer here. In case it's not good that we lost hero. We could still win. It's all gonna be a fascinating mess. We're pulling out our evening wins. Um, that means that we probably have about half an hour left to stream in us, and we're just gonna completely crash afterwards. Super fucking awesome. Like, honestly, we're honestly astonished that we spent this long playing this game in a row after after losing our save by four and a half hours in. There are very few games that we'd actually fall through with for that much. Looks like Hero just completely missed out on that EXP. Yeah, Hero just completely got fucked on that EXP. That's why hero level is so low, probably. Okay, how do we actually get back quickly? How much of this dungeon is gonna make like, us walk back through? I 
Let's surprise it. I think it's still HP and MP. Whatever. Hero's probably still far behind because Hero's tanking everything for everyone. If we'd known that um you you would miss out on the XP, we might. Wow, this is actually gonna make us go through the entire dungeon, isn't it? Or at least a good portion of it. I guess that this is one way to extend the game. We're supposed to use the staff from the Nina. We're definitely falling asleep, but this is a super successful 10 hour stream. Oh, okay, cool. We can just walk over that shit. We're gonna keep pushing for a little bit longer just to make sure that this is actually our longest stream ever. We can probably keep going for another 15 20 minutes. We feel like the, we might be able to appreciate the clever stuff if we're doing it one dungeon a day rather than trying to play it all at once. Yeah, the enemies 
and this person does no damage at all. So from what we've heard of, we're gonna learn um, the speedrun of um, other Lunar 2s and um, we, we would have to um, We'd have, one of the hardest things to learn would be Zophar. I was gonna fucking please. I wish that we could restart the fight so that Hero could get the EXP too. This Hero is massively, massively under leveled. And we, we, we don't know about the game's mechanics enough to know whether um, that XP was spread out, the extra XP was spread out between the others, or if the XP just vanished into thin air. about have been pretty minor. This is the big town, isn't it? Rubia.
I kind of appreciate how you can just run through people, run through people in this game. Like from just a practical game design perspective, it makes a lot of sense. Not being body blocked annoyingly. Okay, so the fire ring actually gives a bunch of offense. We need to buy some of those. Like maybe a lot of those. Like maybe none of those, because they're so expensive. So expensive. Too bad, and um, we'd love to like give everybody double fire rings. Just to increase the damage. Where's Masterline's dojo? Master Lan. Many consider me foremost of Aldina's heroes. I am flattered by their generosity, but I am merely a humble disciple who has much to learn from the goddess. Ma -ha -ha -ha. I sense you also come seeking that knowledge. Assassination. Cardi of death and assassination. I've never heard of anything like this before. I know. 
For the person who created this karate room is a mystery to me. It's covered with hiding hands and masks that no one may learn his true identity. One time ago, I was enslaved. It was a wicked group, but I escaped. He calls his devilish sect the Blue Dragon Cult. Teachings are far removed from the light of the Blue Dragon and must be stopped. Thank you for bringing this matter to my attention. I don't forgive anyone that between another and the ways of such evil. I'll find this masked man and put his into to train the terror. Some of the Blue Dragon Cult is located near Cave and Peak. If they may be the same band that are attacking people there, I'd like to make a quest to you. Go to the Haven's Peak and search for a link for the Magic the Cult. Once you find their hide, I'll leave an attack on it. I'll bring them to justice one way or another. I'll do as you requested. Thank you, Master Lund. Okay, Peak is actually a really, really, really good part, and um, ha leaving that there will motivate us very heavily to continue the game. Like this is a part that we're really looking forward to seeing how they how it is in this version. Oh wow, it's right fucking here. Oh wow, there's no cutscene showing anything like this in, in the game. This is really pretty. This is really, really pretty. Very oh, careful, right? Tavern's Peak is just ahead. This is almost the reach place. Let's let's make sure that um they actually saved. And let's make sure that we can close the emulator and have reboot it and have it continue to save. Oh shit, we probably should have made a save state before this. Because if this doesn't work then we're pretty fucked. Okay, good. That did save. Awesome. Um, we need to find somebody to send all of you over to. Oh shit, looks like, um... Looks like Charles just went to sleep. Looks like Jenny, Zenny has just started, um... We're gonna send everybody to Zenny. Um, a few seconds off of the Super Metroid Hundo item world record. Yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. We hope you all have an amazing rest of your night. And, um, or good sleeps, or whatever the f or good day, or whatever the fuck. We're so glad that Nat saved. <laughs>